Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, everything spicy and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. The professionals, we're here. Oh, actually, I'm not the, we, but we do have professionals lined up for this evening show. Hey, guys. It's good to see everyone. What is it? Wednesday night. We made it by hump day. You know, Ann's favorite day of the week, hump day. How you doing, Ann? How are you doing, everybody? Good to see everybody. I am glad to see you. Oh, we got, oh, yeah, I, I see you down there, uh, George. How you doing? Good to see you. I see you, Saucy Shane. All right. Good to see everyone. Hey, everyone in the chat. I appreciate everyone being here. Let me start at the top and say hi to everybody. We got Will, the rocker. Will. Will's in the house. What's up, man? How you doing? Captain Morgan was here at one point in time. I don't know. Well, uh, Captain Morgan, <laughs> we'll go over that later. There's Crazy Ann. How you doing? Schaller, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Donald Morris, he's in the house. What's up, Donald Morris? How you doing? Donald Morris is my merchandise model. So if, if you want to know how something looks, I think he's got like four or five. Even his wife models him now, right? He's got like four or five things. Ask Donald Morris for a for a picture. He'll send you what it looks tells you, show you what it looks like. B Wizzle, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Tim from Kirk. Whipper, Void Center, what's up, man? Good to see you, Tim. Get her done, Granny. What's up, Granny? How you doing, girl? Good to see you. And I did I did put the link out to my uh to my regulars as well. Um, you know who you are. Um, you won't at the very beginning, you won't be up on the panel. Sty's here, he's on, down in the basement. Um, but if you do come into the basement, once we get done with the challenge. We'll bring everybody up, and uh, we'll talk, and uh, people can stick around as long as they want. Tim, Wheel Life, what's up, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, my friend. All righty. Um, Mr. Fulton, how are you? Good to see you, Fulton. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Got a lot of guys ch chatting there. 
Oh, just on. What's up, man? How you doing? We got a saucy Shane Raid. Thank you, saucy Shane Raiders. Good to see you, man. Blake Hurst is in the house. What's up, Blake Hurst? Blake, were you joining us? I forget if you were joining us or not. Jeff and Tammy, the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. How you doing? Good to see you. Luther the Great is in the house. What's up, Luther? Good to see you, man. Mama Vapes, beauty. What's up, Mama Vapes? How you doing? Eric Pollock is in the house. What's up, Pollock? You know what that means, right? Gotta gotta do a little tincture when Pollock's in the house. Mm. That gets the juices flowing. The hunt for heat, Cindy, Chili Bean, and Mike. Hunt. What's up, Mike? How you doing, man? Good to see everyone. Jenny O'Brien's in the house. What's up, Jenny O'Brien? Good to see you, girl. Jason the Reaper. James is in the house. Thank you, Jason the Reaper, for becoming a member. You want to know how to support the channel. Help us do the things we do on the channel. Not just me, but the other people I have. A, some, consider could be coming. I can't, can't even talk. Consider becoming a member and helping us out. Oh, uh, let's see. Albert Barlow is in the house. What's up, Albert Barlow? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, Jenny O'Brien. I said hi to Jenny. The Texas Hotspot. Zach, what's up, man? How you doing? The Patreon Pirate is here. What's up, Patreon Pirate? Good to see you, man. Oh, uh, let's see here. Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic. He's here. I know he's here because he's down in the basement. He's hanging out in the basement. He missed eating the nine cheeseburgers in nine minute challenge. He said, I ain't missing this one. So good to see him in the basement. Extreme Heat Challenge. Aaron's in the house. What's up, Aaron? How you doing, Stein North? Of course, I said he's here. He, he's down in the basement. Good to see you, Stein North. Joe Weymouth is here. What's up, Weymouth? How you doing? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, my goodness. Say hi to as many people as we can, and we get down to business. Oh, let's see here. Ooh, we, we're at the bottom now. We got to go back up. Back up. Stephen Carter, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeti, Mountain, Trading, what's up, man? How you doing? Rebecca Felter's in the house. What's up, Rebecca? Good to see you. Lazy Nate is here. What's up, Lazy or Not So Lazy Nate? Good to see you. Kane Henson is in the house. What's up, Kane? How you doing? Lori J is here. Good to see you. Oh, Captain Morgan is still here. Good to see you, Captain Morgan. Uh, congratulations on the new baby. Whoo! My mouth is burning just a little bit. It's not extremely hot tincture, but it's hot. Let's see. I think we. I think we hit everyone. I think we hit. Let me go all the way back down to the bottom. Hanging with Mr. J's in the house. What's up, Richard Strenhall? Music. What's up, Richard? Soul singer. Music's in the house. What's up, soul singer? Good to see you. I said hi to Stephen. Right. So what's up, Stephen? All right. We have said hi to everyone. At least everyone that I could see. What's up, my man? Good to see you. Hanging with Mr. J. All right. So. We are going to have introductions as we bring folks up. I am going to start with uh, the non-pros. We're going to bring the non, the novices, the novices at least in the um, in the competitive, quickly eating food challenges type stuff. What's up, Lizzie Ann? You know my brain ain't functioning today. Bad time for that to be happening, isn't it? Uh, I am going to start to see. Do we, do we? Is it possible? Is it possible? We have something here for. No, I really don't have any. You know, I just. You know, I just got to bring him up. Um, live from the United States Army, we have Travis. What's up, man? How you doing? Groovy. What's going on, guys? Medic. How's everybody doing today? Doing, man? I'm hungry. You are hungry? Hungry, hungry, hungry. Uh. All righty. And next, from parts unknown, well, parts of Texas, which are unknown, or Texas, I say Texas, Tennessee. He's your favorite saucy taste tester spicy guy. That'd be Saucy Shane. What's up, Shane? What's up, everybody? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, What's up, man? Got it ready. I'm excited now about the first next McRib two. Ever. First McRib ever. Now these next two folks, um, one of them you've seen her here on here before. 
Um, so it'd be no surprise to you. She's ranked number 35 in competitive eating. She brought along a friend with her. Now, I've never met the gentleman before. I got to briefly talk to him on uh, Facebook Messenger. But we are lucky enough. There's the magma monkey. They're saying hi to you. There's... Everybody wants to say hi. Um, we got lucky enough to get two competitive eaters, and he is ranked number 15. All right? So, you know, since, uh, you know, it isn't every day that we get, you know, professionals on here. You know, I just want to. I just want to say to the two of them, we're not worthy. Come on, man. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're hey, Katie. Hey, George. How you doing? Hello. Oh, can I rotate? Maybe I can rotate. Oh, we Me can't hear late. you. Are you muted? Oh, am I muted? You can't hear me? You're no. fine, George. I Katie's muted. You. Oh, okay. Katie's muted? Sorry, oh, I'm having some... But again, I don't have the thing going on here, so... So, no, thank you guys for having me on. Um, I heard my introduction. Oh, that's awesome. The world. So... <clears throat> so, this is, this is George... The smorgasbord, Chigger. The Chigger Tiger. Chigger. You had it right. You got it Chigger. right the first time. All right. What's up, William Simpson? How you doing, man? Good to <clears> see <throat> you. Uh, so I started off, what was it, yesterday when I heard that the McRib was back. I thought, you know what? I've got to do a video on this. And I thought, you know what? I don't like doing videos by myself. I like doing lives, right? I like getting people involved. I like doing lives. What's up, Christy? This is what I like doing. I like being live with people. So you can see how, so at, so at times, you can see how unprepared I am and how uh, rough around the edges I am in trying to uh, talk, speak, tell you what I'm what's, what I'm thinking and get it to come out of my mouth. But um, when we do spicy challenges on here, you guys can you guys know exactly what's going on. Oh, there pop, Katie off, popped off for a second. What's up, Dan the Man TV? How you doing? Good to see you. Well, we ain't doing nothing until Katie comes back, but you know, wait. We all got we all got to get prepared. So there we go. What's up, Eye of Levi? Good to see you, man. Ooh. Can you hear me now? You can I can hear, hear you now. now. Yep. Okay. Massive this is not a Verizon so commercial, just in case anybody was watching, wondering. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Everybody can get get their go ahead and get themselves prepared. If you're not already, my sis, my setup's always a little weird. It's like see half of my bed. Yeah, I can't. I'm at a weird angle, so I'm trying my best. My food been sitting here for over two hours, so. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh. Nope. Okay. All right, so it seems like once a year, McDonald's brings the McRib back. Everybody knows. This is for a limited time. It's not something you can go in there anytime and pick up a McRib. Um, and I don't know why they do that. I don't. I don't know. I think. I think they like the hype. I think they like you know the attention that they get for that Marketing. short, brief period of time. Whenever you introduce something new, you know you get a little spark. You get a little extra attention, right? So uh, I do want to kind of show this off. If you've never had a McRib before, if you're kind of like Saucy Shane, and you've never had a McRib before. Now, this one's less saucy than the one I had a year ago, but still pretty right. saucy. Yeah, mine's doused. Man, that's light. That's a lightweight. Must be mostly on the bottom. Yeah, not a lot down on the bottom either. Yeah, man. What are you going to do, you know? Eat it. Well, you know what they say? They screw you through the drive through right? <laughs> it's true. All right. Um... 
Um, if I were to bring someone up out of the basement, do you have a timer? Do you have a phone or something you can use as a timer or not? Or should I just bring, I mean, just put my timer up here. Um, now, we all do have a drink as well. Let's see here. Do to do. There we go. We will bring up. See how, see, see how organized I am here, George? Now, George is frozen. George probably going to have to come back. I do have liquid in mind. I'm upset right. because they were out of Dr. Pepper, so it's Coke, and I'm not. Uh, I wasn't going to do the bubbly Sprite. I wasn't doing that. Uh, no? I figured it had to be carbonated just to keep it fair. Hang on, Did you lose George? All right. There, no, he's here. All right. And then Saucy leaves. Come on, man. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my food in the here. pick, but it's not it's not working. So we trust you, man. All right. Yeah, we trust you not to cheat, George. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That would be it's, silly. I mean, Sorry, you're going against not, three people that are not competitive eaters, so I, I you don't really sit, have to I'm cheat to beat us. So you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm going to set my pop to the side so I don't spill it on my computer. That would be bad. Yep. All right. So, 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 so the little competition here is easy, guys. It's eat the combo, drink all the drink. The first person eats the entire combo, drink all the drink, gets an everything spicy T-shirt. Mm -hmm. the, the standard black, my logo, just like what's behind me, everything spicy T-shirt. And uh, that's it. Are we ready? Ready. On your mark. Get set. Go. There you go, George. One minute. <clears throat> you guys got this. Go, man. That was delicious. Okay, you're right there. Go, Katie, go. Everyone's doing a great job. Keep it up, man. Push. I will say this is very delicious. Like three by ten. Oh, oh no! Onions, man. The onions and pickles, right? Mm. Uh huh. 
They caught me off guard too. It's not a good Guys. competitive eating food. <sighs> Test more napkins, please. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> nice. We're spicy eaters. <laughs> I, I give you credit because I'm not a spicy eater by any means, but you guys ate uh, too quick. Yeah. Oh, man. I was trying, Katie. I was trying to catch you. <clears throat> That's what I was scared of. You were way too close, which is probably why I was choking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Sashi Shane's got a handicap up there. Thank you. Uh, <sighs> I'm telling you, that barbecue sauce on the fries actually helped out a lot when it was so doused in the sauce from the thing that was dripping on the plate. And then it was all nice. over the fries, slid right down. Mine hardly had any sauce on it at all, man. I don't even know what my time was. We'll have to go back and look. Wow. Whew. You can probably cut the time off. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy really doesn't care at this point. I don't care what my time is. <laughs> Just enjoy your food at this point, Shane. It was good, though. Shane is always down to get up here and be competitive with us no matter what. So. Yeah, like you said, I never, I never had a McRib, so it was worth a, worth a try. He's just good. enjoying How it. How many cheeseburgers like, did you eat in nine minutes? Yeah, I think I got three. <laughs> Oh, I love that Dan Killer Kennedy was uh he ate ate those nine cheeseburgers in 76 seconds. And it was it was almost like he was mocking us, walking around, still eating some food, eating, coming up to the camera and looking at us. Are you guys are still eating. <laughs> but I'm sure Dan can mock most competitive eaters. There's probably only a few that he can't, so <laughs> he's yeah, fast for sure. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. I finally I got him um, on one of the records this year um, in DC, so I'm happy about that. I got 30 seconds on him. So, a nice eating a big bowl of pho. Uh, big bowl of pho. It was uh, two pounds of noodles, two pounds of meat, pound of veggies, and uh, three quarters, um, three quarts of broth. Mm. So I, <clears throat> he did it in nine. I think nine. 920 or something. I got it done in like 830 for the new record. Uh -huh. so, nice. Yeah. So, but Dan's a great eater. Katie's a great eater. You guys are great eaters. And I, I think it's great that you guys, the, the spices you guys eat, I just, I don't want to do that to my body. I just, I, you know. You don't want to do spice to your, oh, okay. <laughs> spice, like, the, the stories you guys are going to argue now, right? You want to yeah, well, the, the, the stories and everything, and you know, the pain that I see you guys go through, and I, I don't know, I mean, yes, I do do, I, I, I do a lot to my body competitively to eat, but you know, I did a spicy noodle challenge this year and, you know, some burritos and like, oh, the lips are tingly, you know, the chin's a little spicy, but I've seen you guys, you know, in pain for days over the, you know, your guts and stuff. I just, I don't know about that. So I give you yeah, guys credit. I, 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 every time, every time I hear or see Katie in pain over a spicy <laughs> challenge, see, I don't feel bad for me. I do it to myself. But I see Katie doing it. I'm thinking, you know, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I feel bad to watch a young lady put herself through abdominal pain like that. But I feel bad. I physically feel bad when I see Katie. It, like when she did that version two chug, I just oh. I know what she's feeling inside, man. That V2 chug. I did the, v, um, the League of Fire v, uh, V2 chug, not planning on doing it. I did my like a normal prep for a night where I might eat like a a pepper or two and whatnot. And I thought, you know what? Let me grab this thing off the shelf. Like I do a lot of nights. Like I did last week where I killed myself with a, a syringe full of um, extract. 
And uh, I spent the next two hours on my live stream rocking back and forth while everybody watched me while I was while that um, V2 chug was going through my uh, body. So, yeah. Well, Katie, we got, we got prep done now. You want to go get your UK Chili Queen uh, chug and I'll do it with you? <laughs> I've got I've got mine back here, but no, I uh, I'm I'm doing 24 days on this dive bar that that George and I are on. I have a wine advent calendar, so I have to go live on that after this. So no chug tonight. Okay. <laughs> you never know what that chug's going to do the rest of your evening. Plus, it's a work night, so that that's probably going to be a sleepless night when I do that. Yeah. Yeah, that well, that was me Wednesday night. I don't know what made me think that six million extract would be like six million anything else because we know some things are rated at you know they've got six million of extract in them, but it's not six right. million. And I, six million extract is every bit six million extract. That was just a stupid thing to do on my part, especially you know after I'd, I'd already been live an hour and a half. So most food that was in my system had already kind of uh, gone through my system. So. Thank you, Captain Morgan. Appreciate it. I am going to bring back the normal uh, manners here, too. You see well, the, these folks' um, channel names better. Let's see. Well, Katie, when you're ready, I need a partner to do my chug with. Okay. <laughs> I'll definitely reach out to you. I could use some moral support. Oh, we'll, we'll just die together because uh, it's going to be horrible. <laughs> I think my plan this time, I stayed in my office too long, like <clears throat> filming – um, I should have like ran to the bathroom like right away. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the 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 version two, I did it. I had two of them ready to go, and I did the first one. I was like, I'll do the second one. And I was like, No, I'm not doing the second one. That was a mistake. And then as soon as, because as soon as I finished the video recording, I stopped it, and I didn't even have to try to purge. It just uh, my body just said, You need to go now, and it it was done. Uh -huh. I wish, I wish I couldn't, I couldn't get the version two out of my system. I had to digest that whole thing. It was terrible. Oh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I can't throw up. Yeah, I have a hard time with that. Well, very I can groovy task. booty. I can groovy booty. <laughs> yeah. So I am going to bring. There are two folks in the basement. Uh, I want to bring up here, um, but they're they're they are gentlemen that I can't bring up without an introduction. So. Uh, the first gentleman, we uh, let's see here. Do, 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 where are we at? <laughs> this video, learn how to get rid of a sty fast and maybe even overnight as we go over the different types of styes that are out there and the different treatments that work. Let's take a look. See what happens. That monstrous piece of shark. Son of a bitch! Oh, uh, Jesus H. Christ! Now that doesn't happen often, but when it does, it pisses you off. Hey, Sty, how are you? What? Why is it my ass always hurts when I come on your panel? <laughs> It's a long story, Sty. It's a long story. Yeah, yeah. I, there's all sorts of things. No, don't do go down this. Right. Hey, 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 hey. Let's we, keep it really, north. Um, let's keep it yeah. north of the border, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't win with you guys, no matter what. No matter what. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Out. I'm just grateful that I'm not a preacher, and you guys aren't my congregation. Yeah. It would not be a pretty service, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we're going to bring the next guy up out of the basement. You guys know him, too. Joe! 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 You're not like them, Joe. I love you, Joe. Come home, Joe. It's all because of you, Joe. Joe? <laughs> Dirty Joe. What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, great I, to see I, everyone I, tonight, man. I did find the dreadlock wig, just so you're aware. 
You did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on it now. <laughs> oh, thanks for the warning, Joe. <laughs> You'll never know when it's gonna happen. Gonna happen, right? Um, so it's good to see everybody in the chat. I am sorry if I have not yelled out your name. I'm gonna go through a few folks real quick. If all y'all don't mind, just holding on a second. Hey, James. I'm good to see you, Brad, James, Justin from Harmon Heat. There's another good spicy channel right there. Of course, the B ladies here. I have Levi's here. Jason the Reaper, James again. Uh, let's see here. Martin is here. What's up, Martin? William Simpson. Of course, Teresa is here. What's up, Teresa? Good to see you. I want to make sure I'm hitting everybody up. We said hi to Luther. There's Metal Music Maniac, Teller the Stars. Good to see everyone. All right. I think we got. I think we covered Simo. everybody new that came in. Hey, Simo. What's up, Simo? Simo. Oh, there's Samantha Lee Originals. What's there's up? Oh, Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. <laughs> But she's got the keys if she wants to come up. We we we, we are yeah. we are done being competitive, gross competitive eaters, and we are now just talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Some, for of everybody. First, some of the first competitive eating that I saw, uh, outside of everybody seeing, you know, like a Nathan's hot dog eating contest and all that stuff, I I, I don't know how I got turned on to. Um, Schuler, Schumer, Schumer. Um, what? Molly Skyler. Molly, Molly. Holy mackerel! I saw her hey, doing Mike. something, and, and it was all slop. And she's just doing this with the hands <laughs> and putting stuff into her face. I'm like, that's a lady. <laughs> she's <laughs> one of my favorites. What? Uh, well, I, I would. Now here's my. I don't know. I don't know a lot about competitive eating. I know there are you. The traditionalists, which eat the food and then drink the water, and then you have people that compete compete at Nathan's. And in order to compete at Nathan's, I think you got to dunk the bun and eat the hot dog kind of separately in order to be competitive in that. But would you say Molly is as good or better than Joey Chestnut? Yeah, I've given this a lot of thought, and I want to hear what George thinks. I I think in any other contest, Molly could probably beat Joey Chestnut. But right now where Joey's at with hot dogs, he's just the best at hot dogs. Because as an example, one of our colleagues, uh, Jeff Asper, frequently beats Joey um, in other challenges. But but nobody since Matt Stoney has been able to beat him in hot dogs. I don't know what you think, George. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Joey is definitely the number one guy for hot dogs. He's beatable in other disciplines. And, you know, and Molly Schuyler, you know, she might be – you know, the next Matt Stoney to beat him at hot dogs. Like she is, you know, I would think she's the number one, you know, uh, independent eater in the world. You know, she's, she's, she's an awesome eater, you know? Um, so <clears throat> if they went head to head, I, you know, I, it would be tough on who I want to put my money on, but I think it would, he, she would give uh, Joey a run for his money of hot dogs. 100%. Yeah. yeah I saw, I saw Molly. Yeah those hot dogs at that one place where they, they made every hot dog. She won like $5,000 mm -hmm. eating all those hot dogs. And that poor girl, when she got up, because she's, you know, she's this big around. And she <laughs> got up and she looked like she was pregnant with twins. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we do some crazy stuff to our body. And I've, I've had the opportunity to eat with Molly on a couple different food challenges. And, you know, she's a great eater. And, uh, you know, and that's where we're at. You know, we're all right Thank there. You, uh, pretty close to each other, but you know, there's just a little bit difference between Molly and Joey and Jeff and you know <clears throat> Dan. You know, Dan's a great eater, and you know they eat together, Dan and Molly, and so it's it's a small little world, and it's it's neat to see the you know when I eat with those guys, I feel like I'm an amateur when I look at the film and stuff, but you know then I eat with you guys and. I, you know, there's, there's yeah, a yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I got another right? sweet t shirt. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I did kind of look uh, George up on Wikipedia to, just to get a little bit of an idea of where he was at ranked wise and things like that. I, I was pretty impressed. So, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey two Thank you, man. I appreciate it. McRibs. I, I I appreciate what George said that it's a small world, you know. 
of the competitive eaters like that. Because if there if it wasn't, man, there'd be a sh food shortage. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the rest yeah, of us I, be going hungry. Uh, thank Definitely. you, my super chatters. I appreciate it. You know, we, we always appreciate the super chatters. And I appreciate you guys. I mean, in your world too, it's it's I, I don't think it's you know, I think our, our competitive eating world's a little smaller than the spice world, but you know, there's not too many people that can do these uh spice challenges and you know, out there and I know I'm not one of them. I don't I go to places and everyone's like, Oh, I got the hot wing challenge, or we got this, we got that. Do you want to do it? And I'm like, No, like I want nothing to do with those. <laughs> so <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if it was an old video or not, but I saw Randy Santel. He wound up someplace eating like an atomic wing. And it's only six wings, but it's like, you know, mm -hmm. if you're not prepared for that, if the, if you're, you know, you can be a competitive eater and just not be able to handle the spicy stuff. And you could see he was more miserable after eating those six wings than eat a lot of other stuff that he, eats, you know, would eat five, six, seven, eight pounds of. So. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. I mean, like, I know you guys, you know, yeah. prepare yourself too. And, you know, you're, you're used to the heat, just like we're used to eating five, six pounds of food. So, you know, it, it, I'm just been training differently than you guys have, you know? Yeah. A lot of, a lot of us, you know, again, you build up the tolerance. You guys expand that stomach drink. I have to yeah. ask Katie one time about all the water drinking. I know she does a lot of vegetables uh, in order to help expand her stomach and whatnot and not get all the carbs and things. And yeah, the only problem I got, you know, I drank a gallon of water one time trying to see if I could just drink a gallon of water, which I got like two thirds, maybe three quarters of it down. And I just couldn't, I had to go, I had to go throw that up. I was able to get water up uh, because that was just hurting my stomach so much. My stomach was so expanded. I don't even figure what I, I probably had, you know, five pounds of water in there or so. And, oh, and I know you guys, you're like five pounds, five <laughs> pounds, pounds, right? Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember the first time I. Oh, okay. I was just gonna say that's a lot for for most people. I think that's probably what I drank like the first time I tried doing that. Um, but the funny thing about spice, and George knows this because I've talked to him about it. But what I like about the spice challenges is I actually don't have to train as hard because I can just make like a quick bad decision and then deal with the aftermath later. <laughs> you, you can't fake competitive eating. Like you either have the capacity or you don't. Right. But you can just be dumb with spice challenges. Yes, I'm proof of that. <laughs> I think we all are. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did a, I did a, I did a spicy challenge that was also like a, seemed like a volume challenge. Uh, a couple months ago, I did a challenge from, a, from a, one of our companies, Spice and Easy, that sent me something. And I want to I want to say I had probably right around two pounds of, or, or more of food in this bowl. And, of course, it was spicy, too. And, uh, again, I, I never measured it. I never weighed it out because that was never the idea was how much it was. But it was it was a heavy bowl of stuff. And, um, it man, it was like the, the, the heat was hot. But man, the volume. Well, even like my last, um, my last um, spicy challenge when I ate the eight um, things of um, bites. That was mm. a pound and a half of chocolate. But I had to have mm. the peanut butter gel sandwich. I had to have the yogurt and those other things already in my stomach, so that I wasn't, you know, that I didn't get the stomach burn right away. So, thank you, Simo. I appreciate you rejoining the channel, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Make it rain for Simo, and then I want to thank uh, Gemma Journey Grace. Thank you for another amazing super chat. Thank you, my my number one UK sister, Gemma's Journey Grace. If you guys are not subscribed to Gemma's Journey Grace, she's got an awesome channel, very information informational channel about autism because uh, Gemma's got autism and does a wonderful job with her channel. Just amazing young lady, amazing young lady. So, uh, and then of course we have our, our we have our military rank. We have, uh, you know, Sergeant Major. No, not Sergeant Major, but I just took it. Not that high. Still, still active duty military too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your service. Still don't know how to respond to that. You're welcome. At, well, I, I mean, that works. I, all right. Well, thank you for going to work every day. I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Well, see, well, see, and 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 that's me too, you know, because I was in the Marine Corps. But you know, when people say thank you for your service, to me, it's 
to me, and I'll grab I, I, it's just because I am the way I am. To me, it's more of the guys that actually had to go and maybe see combat or do things during the combat time. I was lucky enough from 86 until 91 to miss everything. You know, mm. in 90s was when they started Desert Storm, so I missed that. Um, so I always think, well, I was just part of the training. I trained myself, and we trained other Marines so that they were ready when they went to Desert Storm. But these guys that actually you know, went over there and saw combat and things or were actually in when combat was going on, those are guys I think deserve a lot of credit for uh, – you know, the, the, the very few casualties we actually wind up uh, with when we go up against these other countries or go to help other countries. So. <clears throat> What's up, Jane? How you doing? Did you finish the McRib already? We started about I 8.35, my, so. I still got my tea, though. So. <laughs> I tell you what, they're tasty. I, when I um, ordered my McRib, uh, probably about five thirty, I got like twenty chicken nuggets and two McRibs and like a meal and stuff. And so I did a pre-run just to taste it because I haven't had one in probably twenty years. So they're they're definitely tasty. <laughs> it hurts so much to know that you did that before. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I you would have wanted to feed me my grocery bills insane the amount of food I consume. You know, we're we're talking about water and you guys are talking about, you know, you know, three quarters of a gallon. I'm I'm talking like two and three quarters and three gallons of water I could drink very quickly. So, you know, uh, when I when I go out and drink my buddies to drink beer in the dive bar and stuff, I everyone's like, How many beers do you drink last night? I'm like gallons because I sit down and drink <laughs> gallons of beer and whiskey and vodka and you know, it, it just happens that way. But, but I know I'm saying the same as it affects us, even though you have a, even though you can fit more in your stomach, it's got still got a beer and vodka. That stuff still got to affect you the same way it affects a normal guy your weight, right? Well, yeah, weight. but I mean, I'm I'm six foot seven, three hundred and twenty pounds. I'm 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 sitting down at a kitchen table right now. So you're six you know, foot seven. Yeah. Yeah, Holy right. shit. So next time I wow. go out and drink like gallons, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let you with me in case I say something stupid. <laughs> that's right. That's fair. Oh, that's, that. there there, there, that's, that's not killed here. That's George. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll take George out drinking, but it's gotta be during happy hour only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I could never bottom make shelf, it. I got... Bottom shelf, way below. Yeah, yeah, shelf. no kidding. <laughs> oh, <Holy Wow. mackerel. laughs> yeah, can you can, can you get me a beer and him a keg? <laughs> right? <laughs> I, mean, I love it. <laughs> you crack open a keg <clears throat> like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your shotgun, that devil. <laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a six pack of co uh, pony kegs and. Uh... <laughs> Definitely. The other night um, in the dive bar, we, we've been raising money all week for children and needy families for the holidays in the dive bar. And uh, Wednesday night, I drank seven 24-ounce cans in um, probably just under an hour. So, you know, 100 and, um, what was that, 68 ounces. So, a gallon, almost a gallon and a half in, a, in an hour, God. gallon and a quarter. So, um, yeah. And, you know. It, it comes yeah. on good. Yeah. I, I like nights like that. I, I sleep well, you know. But <clears throat> now, Oji, well, son, earlier had put a comment in there that he drank a gallon of whiskey one time. He said, and he was alluding to the fact that his friends told him all about it. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, how that so, works. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. <clears throat> Did I really drink a gallon? I, I forgot after about a half a gallon. Gallon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've woken up in some strange places underneath coffee tables, spooning with the, you know, the ottoman. You know, I'm like, how did I get here? <laughs> you know, so. Oh. Yep. You're, yeah, you're, I woke you're, up and one, one of my friends there. He says, "Simo, he's from the UK." Okay. Like take you on a drinking challenge. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sure. Oh, I, I've, I've watched money. many a, a live stream when Simo's been up on panel, put a put away oh, yeah. some beers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he gets more colorful as he goes too. Yeah. We all yeah. do. I, he, I get a little louder, I, you know, a little redder. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, you know. Yeah, but, but I'll only do it if you white claw because, you know, basic white guy. <laughs> 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 hey, I, I I love me some white claws. People make fun of them, but they're five percent, and you know they got more more alcohol than the guys drinking the you know the Miller Lights and the, you know the Bud Lights and all that stuff. And so, one hundred percent. You go to my channel. I I, I drank a hundred ounces of um, Bud Light seltzers in a couple minutes. Like you know, I know in the dive bar I did a Dawes mm, boot, sixty four ounces of white claw, quick as people uh, drink. A 12 ounce shotgun. Uh, St. Louis? No. Here we go. Some no, crazy it's, looking it's, stuff. It's Palisade, Palisade Brewing, Palisade, Colorado. This one's only, this is only 10.4%. Only 10. Well, not like so, that one uh, from the other, from last night, huh? Uh, 15. Yeah. Oh. The, the Bourbon nice. County Stouts so those from are, yeah. Island. Those are my uh, type oh, wow. of beers. I have a 32 ounce um, stout, um, uh, five o'clock breakfast stout in my fridge right now. That's like nine, nine, nine or something. So those are the beers I like to shotgun. Like in the dive bar, everyone shotguns the Natty Lights <clears throat> and all that. And I start, I shotgun. There we go. That's the, is that the big that's boy? The 64 ounce? That, that, that's the big one. Yeah, yep. one. I had the small one, but it busted. So when I reordered it, I got the big one. Okay. One of these days, I'm actually going to have to put something in there. Now, on my other one, I was able to put like a dozen eggs in it. Mm -hmm. I was going to say you can put two dozen in that one, eh? Yeah, that that. Or I think or if two I put ostrich many, eggs. I think if I put that many eggs in my system, I might hurl. No one's actually seen me hurl. <laughs> Don't wanna. Don't wanna. The Don't whole wanna. point's not to hurl. Wouldn't that? Be, I ought to. I ought to. Those are my favorite videos. Fuse the get the fuse. Ones. I, well, that's what you know, a lot of people <laughs> tell me that. Oh, you got to reverse. You got to reverse. But like, I don't know. I'm a I'm a professional. I I don't got to reverse. I, I thought so. I thought you did with the um, banana banana sprite or I, well, I did that on purpose because I well, it was, my kids wanted that. to do the whole banana sprite thing, right? So you eat a banana and you drink like a a liter of sprite. It's it's supposed to have some kind of chemical reaction inside your body where you throw up. Potassium, yeah. So, so I sat there and did it with my kids. Of course, they're not throwing up. I'm not throwing up. So I drank a whole two liter of, and now my stomach is hurting so bad, and, and nothing, nothing is happening. I'm not, I'm not feeling this. So I crammed my finger down to my, down my throat as far as I could, and all oh, that video. I, I slow mode it at the part where I'm vomiting and just go. It's funny, but that's the only that's. The, but I had to make myself. I've tried to make myself after spicy challenges. I tried to after the Nemesis. I tried to after I chugged five bottles of the League of Fire sauce back you know, about a year or more ago. Um, when I tried to do the League of Fire sauce and get that out of my system, I actually at one point couldn't catch my breath because I got like maybe an ounce or two up. And my throat was so on fire, I was gasping for breath. So I've kind of tried to stay away from trying to throw up uh, spicy stuff for a while. I just it scares me that uh, you know when you lose your breath and you can't you know you, it was so uh, my throat was so bad it was like I couldn't breathe. It was like yeah, I'll, good night, I'll, Mike. I'll just deal with the pain. Good night, Mike. Good night, good night E Waste. Have a good one, man. Good night. Good night. Uh, only challenge I have never was able to get up was the hell puff challenge that was my first experience with the uh, cap cramps the worst ones i've had and i could not get those up and i thought i was literally gonna have to go to the hospital it was that i'd never experienced that level before he need to get the valhalla so i don't know if george knows this but in the spice community as opposed to competitive eating where it's like a big no-no to talk about reversing in the spice community, they call it booting, and it's totally acceptable. And like, oh. yeah, okay, all right, because you don't want to digest that yeah, stuff. Some, you some of these you probably ought not be digesting, like these chug challenges they're talking about. But mm -hmm. those, because it's a straight mash, it's just mashed up peppers. A lot of times, you can only get like an ounce or two out, even if you put down six or seven. 
Yeah. Okay. Enough, I mean, that makes it. sense. Like, I mean, you know, put if I put you know six ounces of something in my stomach, I I wouldn't even think about trying to I, reverse I it or whatever. Word on these. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I probably would want to, but like, I mean, you 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 know, I don't know. I mean, like Katie's saying, like in our world, you know, reversing is in a it's kind of frowned upon. Yeah. Um, you know, because of the food aspect of it and stuff. But I understand with the spicy stuff and. You, you guys are insane eating that, that crazy hot stuff like that. Like uh, I, I couldn't I, get about how to come up. Mm. Oh, did you see that? Uh, and Phil, you don't uh, do it all the time. Do the help ups. He really wants to do the help ups. Stai wants oh, to do the help ups. Q10, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stai don't volunteer for nothing no more. <laughs> no. no. So, like, I, uh, but, I, I, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say the only challenges I do anymore is when I'm feeling really down, want to end it all, you know, and then I say, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. We've got to try to eat a couple Carolina Reaper <laughs> dried and fresh. And fresh. Uh, he, 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 I've done the done Vet 19 bar. Vet 19. Yeah, the so rummy bear. We, we, we've done infected the, Sky a little bit. Uh -huh. yeah. The little nitro and a couple of rummy bears and yeah yeah I, I'm stupid yeah <laughs> I, I don't think you can hang out in the spicy community as a non-spicy person and not at and some not, point in try time try something right yeah and that was it too is is I started out just just a, it was a practical joke a friend of mine said hey Stai, you like chocolate I said yeah sure I like chocolate well I'm gonna send you a chocolate bar. So he sent me a psycho bar and that I thought, well, I lived through that. You know, it was kind of miserable, but I lived through it. That was okay. Well, then right behind it came a VAT 19 bar. And then I found out what it's really about, especially about extracts that, um, it was, it was a bad the one I was talking about The 9 million one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's my uh, nemesis. I did not finish that one. It's an evil little bar. <clears throat> Really? Yeah, it's an evil little bugger. I, I ate the whole thing. Everything was going cool. I went through the afterburn, and I'm going, well, I made it. And then all of a sudden, boom, it hit me. And I paced in here 20 minutes with the worst gut cramps I've ever had my whole life. And did then I got the on. Did you entire bar at one time? Or yeah. did you? Oh, no. Oh, no, I ate it a piece at it. I had all 12 pieces sitting on the plate, and I just sat there and popped them in my mouth. Because it was supposed to be eat another. one. You eat one little piece and then you wait a minute. Yeah. Yep. And you do another right. piece. Just yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. I, I watched my I, I watched I rewatched my stream on that one and it, it worked out. Oh, there it is. There I got it the is. new updated package. I like the old package better. <clears throat> yeah, I do too. I got the, yeah, the, the old package. Visit that yeah, if you've ever I got mine ever in the China people, cabinet. They long tag and they give you this little bitty pouch with these twelve little squares in there, twenty bucks. For you know, half an ounce maybe of chocolate, but yeah. uh, with the extract oh. in it, oh, that ex extract so, is most of our nemesis. This, yeah. this is this is actually the, the the true size of the chocolate bar. I'm gonna get to you next to a quarter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! It's, yeah. And, and it's only about as thick as that damn quarter too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not as thick as that box. It's thin. It's yeah. thin. It is 0.18 ounces. Yeah. It's five grams. That is, yeah. that is one of my two challenges that I have failed. I, when I got done I didn't with know that the thing, rules on that when I did it. So I just ate the whole bar. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. I ate mine. I ate mine. I ate mine on what it said, you know, the yeah. piece, piece at a time. And went 12, through the long minutes. gamut. But what, like I said, what killed me was after the afterburn. I'm uh, now I'm feeling good, right? The afterburn's down to like a one, and I, I'm thinking this is a breeze. Then it the cramps hit me, and after that, 20 minutes of pacing, everybody's on my panel chat, and I'm pacing in the room. I come back into camera view, and I said, "Well, folks, that was a nice stream. Good night, bye," because <laughs> I was still dying. <laughs> literally shut down my stream and just like you turn the light switch on cramps went away and i was fine the rest of the night but that was the worst 20 minutes oh my god yeah yeah I, 
<laughs> I've had people say, hey, will you do another VAT 19 bar? I'll pay for it. And I said, you'll pay for it, all right. I'll come over and return it right in the middle of my fist. <laughs> Don't ever send me one of them devils again. Yeah, but them rummy bears cramps. aren't a joke either. Some of my worst cramps came from that right there. So that's a half pound with about yeah. 30 Carolina Reapers in it. Now, I said when I got the, when I did my first yeah. one, I would never do it again. Well, you can see, yeah, I went out, dummy that I am, I went out and bought another one and some other things too. But yeah, yeah. That, that was the one I tried to throw up and couldn't throw up. So, hey, Jimmy. That was a bad Pickles. night. That was Jimmy a Pickles. bad night. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had one of those nemesis bars in a drawer behind me for like six or seven months because I'm too scared to eat it. Have, have, you, have you done um, a chili cherry nightmare? Yeah, and that was a horrible experience, which is why I'm scared to eat the nemesis bar. Yeah, when I did my chili cherry nightmare, it was it was it was good. I didn't I didn't get cramps too bad. I prepped good and ate somewhat after it. So my chili cherry nightmare wasn't too bad for me. And that was about two years ago. You'll see in my video there, I was just I was using my cam camera vertically back then. Didn't know about, you know, hey, turn your camera sideways, dummy. And you get rid of the <laughs> black stuff on the side of your videos. <laughs> you know how I figured that out? Roger uh, Trier did a hot dang show. Uh, I, I asked him so when he was doing them, getting Nemesis ready. I says, you know, he was going to, he wanted me to send me two squares. And have me try it. I says, I says, well, if I do the video, oh, someone in the basement. <laughs> oh, we, we got to do this again. Give me a second. And, and she'll blush again, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're hey, Samantha, how are you? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> swing, swing, tentpole. She's a. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta quit. She might stop coming up. <laughs> You're lucky. You live in Michigan, and she lives in Alaska, buddy. Yeah, there could be a house fire. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good. How you doing, Samantha? I'm yeah. awesome. Now, Samantha's one of these people. She comes on my channel. Not a, she's not a competitive eater. She's not a spicy eater. She is our extremely talented musician that does lovely music. She creates her own music. Um, she plays, you know, piano. Ukulele is what you hear most of the time. Matter of fact, she made me a um, she made me an everything spicy song in my channel. Matter of fact, she made one for Sky and some of our other. Right, uh, friends as well. So she is our talent. We've got all sorts of people that come and visit here. Yeah. She's that is awesome. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. <clears throat> There's there goes the dead air. Dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was reading funny Awkward memes silence. for a second. Awkward silence. <laughs> uh, Gary's asking me a question. G Gary, you know, I ate that tri triple X. I got. That was the one that was about two pounds of um, the Carolina Reaper with the chicken. Is it kind of like a? Um, yeah, you used a pound and a half of chicken in that one. Yeah, yeah, that that, that 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 was just. And that don't help. Yeah, no, that was just. It was a full feeling. It was a full burning feeling. I didn't get the hard cramps. I would say you know my pain level and my cramps probably got up to like a six or seven on that all night long again. My my ten cramps have been like the nemesis, um, the chug challenge. You know, the the when I drink five bottles, those are ones that have pretty much put me right there at a ten. Where well, when I did the nemesis, my wife was looking over at me when I'm over yeah. there cramping up, and she's like, "Do you want me to take you to the hospital and have your stomach pumped?" She didn't say you dumbass, but she was thinking it. Oh, <laughs> I'm I was sure. Like, the rest like, of them were. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when you're when you're laying on the floor and you're lit, raising a hand every five minutes to let us know you're still alive, and we're sitting on the panel, Phil, Phil, move or something, you know. Yeah, yeah, we know it's a rough afterburn. 
Yeah. And Sky and Samantha and Ann and Man. my normal panel guests have been so great in supporting me and keeping my live stream going while I'm laying on the floor uh, <laughs> trying to recoup from you know hours worth of cramps. But but they they still run things. They just can't shut off the stream, that's all. <laughs> and, or when he's on his knees and he's got his arms together and his face in his arms in his chair, his face in his chair, for an hour, <laughs> I mean, and you're sitting there. Well, he's breathing. Yeah, you know. I think I think People. I'm getting better though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that just does not sound like fun. Like, I mean, I might be full for an hour, but that that's what I am. I'm I'm just full for an hour. You guys are like cramping and in pain. See, I watch I watch people like George, and I go, man, after he. Pounded all that down. Me, if I got that much down, shit, that's an 18 hour nap. I mean, oh. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it's an 18 hour nap. I can't eat a regular meal without wanting to lay down for two hours, you know. Yeah. I think the first time I did hot dog training, I went to bed at like 4 p.m. So you're not wrong there, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred percent. You know, when I first got into it, I, I was uh, just my sparring partner for my um, mentor, and I would eat twenty hot dogs and come home and lay on the couch for like two days. But like, yeah. I lost, I lost a hundred pounds, and now I, I'll eat forty hot dogs. And I'll go out drink and party all night with everybody because it's just part right. of my my system now. So, so see, that's have you, nuts. Have you done fifty hot dogs competitively yet? No, my, my personal best is 31 and a half in competition. I've done um, 36, 37 in practice. But um, if I could break 50, I'll be in the top 10 to ever do it in the world. So competitively, mm -hmm. and that's my goal for 2021. Uh, 2020 okay. is, you know, of course, 2020. But that was my goal for this year. And I stopped training <laughs> when we went into quarantine. And then they invited me 72 hours up, you know, up to Fourth of July to go eat hot dogs. So I was not ready for it by any means. So, so that's why I was. I was reading it. I think it was on Wikipedia that I was reading it. You had done twenty five at a Nathan's, and your goal mm -hmm. was to do fifty because only, yep. like you said, only ten people have already ever done fifty, and that was the stuff that I was reading. So you know, yeah, you get to fifty, and then you know, seventy hot dogs isn't that far away. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Hey, yeah, they're right over there. They're not going in here. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah it's only twenty five more, but it's 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 a big difference. But even you know twenty five to to fifty, but I could eat forty regularly. I've I've been doing some speed runs here the last couple months, and I could eat twenty hot dogs in less than two minutes. So oh, minute I mean, forty, I'm minute twenty, yeah, Man. and buns, yeah. So. Wow, that's what yeah. that's what freaks me out is the bun part of it. I mean, the the hot dog, yeah. But I picture all those buns getting compressed in your gut, you know. And it, it's you know people take you know look at the the buns as a as an issue, but you know when Kobayashi started dunking the buns, it changed the whole competitive eating part of it. Like you know, there's the picnic style right. like we did tonight with the food. You don't dunk. But with the buns, you know, the water takes the air out of the bun, right? Yeah, that's so you yeah. get less air. And then I use really hot water, and it breaks down the starches. Like, everyone thinks, like, you feed oh, the ducks wow. the bread, and you yeah. throw the bread into the water, and the bread starts to expand. It's not expanding. It's dissolving. So right. I, I take, you know, the bun with the hottest water I can, and when I, when I smash it to my face, it's like a liquid shot of water to wash down the hot dogs. I was just so, going to ask: Is does it help reduce you wanting to have that water intake? You know. Well, yeah, it, yeah. I don't use water. I, I just use the buns. Just, I use the liquid just, five just buns. Makes because it's like a big sponge. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, it, and I'm still consuming probably a gallon of water with forty hot sure. dogs because you're you're smashing all this water right. into your face. So, oh yeah. Hey, you 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 yeah. Hey, crackling. <laughs> <laughs> Crackling. <laughs> Ooh. So that's why I muted myself so y'all didn't hear me crunching. 
Nice. But yeah, there's science behind the water and the buns. And a lot of people, like a lot of my fans and stuff, I know some people are like, as soon as you go to dunk that bun, I got to turn off the the video because I can't watch it. It's just gross. But it, there's science behind it. A lot, of, a lot <laughs> goes into not... this competitive eating stuff. <laughs> competitive eating, but... come on. Come, come on. It's, it's not... It's, it... It's not meant to be pretty, you know. No, <laughs> they're not pretty about it. I mean, Katie's pretty. Katie brings the pretty. Well, that said, is you know, that said is you can ignore the mess with certain people, you know. Yes. Well, it's, lady, still, it's still gross. Lady, <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I read correctly, B lady, he's not dipping the hot dogs in the water. He, they're separating the hot dog from the water, eating the hot dog dipping the bun in the water and then using the bun to chase the hot dog and the water, correct? You're separating them. Yes. Yeah, we separate them. Yeah. 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 So, so I studied this a lot because I wanted to do well my first it's time. Um, and George mentioned this, but Kobayashi is the one that like revolutionized uh, the Nathan's hot dog contest. So prior to him coming on the scene, the record was 25 hot dogs and buns. And he was able to double that. His first record was 50. Um, and he did that with the Solomon method, which is where you break the hot dog in half. You munch in that and while you're munching, you soak the bun. And then like George said, you use the bun as your, your liquid to force it down. So that was hard. I did a lot of studying too, because it was hard for me to get over the gross factor of doing that. But once you get past it, it's fine. Yeah, guys don't have to work too hard to get over the gross factors, but ladies, you know, they have to get over the gross factors. But, they, but you know, ladies can deal with guys, so they have to be able to get over the gross factors. <laughs> if you're oh, you're trying lady, to win points tonight. Well, the thing is, I don't, I don't mind watching people competitively eat. That's why I got into it, because I loved watching competitors. Um, I fell down, like, a YouTube rabbit hole and watched a bunch of videos, and then a few months later, decided to like, try my hand at it. But yes, yeah, I think I wish there were more women that would do it, but it's hard because society has taught us that we can't be gross, which I'm trying to break that mold. Yeah, you, we can be gross. you and Molly, you know, you guys got to break that mold. Mo Mo Molly's broken it, but Molly's demolished it because, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, you know, I, I watched you eat those wings with that one guy that I had on the video that I shared. What was it? What did I share that on? Was that on the? That was oh, that was one of our, our yeah. I I burned that out of my memory, Phil. But that is a. <laughs> oh, she froze. Uh oh. Froze. She's back. She's back. <laughs> yeah, you're back. Well, I, I'm always glad I can help, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nineteen. <laughs> No, when she ate those blazing hot wings that probably burnt the heck out of her stomach. Oh, see, I'm good with all like blazing wings. I can, I can eat, you know, I can eat two dozen blazing wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, mm. the hottest one, and I'm fine. And I hardly even prep for something like that. But if you were to take, like, I see a lot of those guys, like man, the real man versus food with Adam, um, and they put extract on those wings. Now, now, I mean, I could eat them. But I can imagine he's got hours of just torture going with the extract going through his body. Well, Katie, what's uh, your uh, oh, sorry. biggest challenge so far um, that you've done? Ooh, that's a good question. I have such a short-term memory with challenges, which I think is why I keep doing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm able to forget how horrible it is. Um, but on Monday, I think I had to like dig the deepest that I ever have before. So I, um, Phil was the first to do this, but I was the first woman to complete two of the peanut brutal challenges um, in one sitting. And I totally, totally wanted to cave after the first box. Um, I've done one before, so I knew I could do that. Um, but actually, like, cracking open the second box and eating through that was, was miserable. It was just sure, sheer determination. Um, yeah. It was it was pretty bad. And, I don't and know how you did it up. so easily, Phil. Be because she just... So easily, she says. <laughs> Phil makes it look easy. You made it look easy. <laughs> well, good on you, Katie, for representing the ladies. I like that. That's pretty cool. Whoop whoop. 
Absolutely. And, and, and everybody in the community loves Katie. Every when you mention Katie, Pretty Men, Beyonce leads, everybody in the spicy community knows exactly who you're talking about. So yes, yes, that is awesome. That's awesome. That is, it's awesome. That's great. Well, she's well known. I love, both I love being a part of the oh, competitive yeah, eating community yes. with George, yeah. but the spice community is like just as wonderful and warm and welcoming. It's, it's awesome. I don't know how I would have gotten through like being stuck at home for so long without you guys. Yeah. And, and, and of course, and of course, our top eater in the spicy community is a queen, the UK chili <laughs> queen. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so she, she is, yep. she is yeah. by far head and shoulders. Above everyone else, I mean, Dustin's right there. Dustin has, has not beat her yet, but any woman that can, you know, win seventy plus chili eating contests in a row. When I say chili, uh, George, I mean chili peppers. Um, okay. She, she just just did uh, hundred and three wow. reapers in a row. One hundred and five. One hundred and five. Yeah. Wow. Five. Yeah. Wow. That her is table. Impressive. She had this big round table, and the whole table. Yeah, Shahina's was amazing, and she's so sweet. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and she the sat hurts. there just one after that. another. Oh, and that's cool. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. 50, 50 milliliters of hate and discontent right there is what that is. Yeah, that's an extract in it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. It does have extracts. Which yeah. And I'm, more, and I'm worried about the, doing the V2 chug again. But, you know, I watched Dustin do 13 and a half bottles of the V2 chug, and I really wished I hadn't. Because he's got me now thinking that with the right amount of prep, the right amount of bread and stuff in my stomach, <laughs> that maybe I can do, you know, more than just a couple. Maybe I can do more. It's Dustin. That's what I said. <laughs> he is not human, <laughs> man. He, but he's not. But he's I mean, not. Johnny Scoble was able to do eight. I was able to do five of the old version when other guys did ten. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can't do five again. Maybe this one is too hot to do five again. But I think I'm further along than where I was, you know, a year ago. I don't know. Yeah, I've got one sitting right over there. I'm watching it separate. That's where it's going to oh, be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would consider doing it again. No. But I don't know. So, so George, they're, George, they're talking about a hot sauce chug similar to this. See oh, that there. Oh, He's okay. got it. Ooh. yeah. There are uh, four and five. But it's but it's made specifically with the big mouth to chug. So it's not made oh. to put on any food. It's been made specifically. That's why I call it a chug challenge. It's been made okay. specifically by the League of Fire in order to chug it to compete in the League of Fire. So oh, we gotta get Badlands to chug it. Triple barrel. Oh my gosh. No, oh. that would be so horrible. I love Badlands way too much. <laughs> I love them too. So, but man, like, that I, chug I, is I, the worst thing yeah. I've ever done. Oh. If you watch my I've video, ever... I'm covered in flop sweat. My face goes numb. Like I had a stroke. My hands claw up like this. Yeah, you like, from the capsaicin. Yeah. And I was literally screaming in my bathroom. My son had to send my husband to check on me. Wow. It's horrible. Yeah, that, this this whole thing you guys do sounds so like so much fun. Like, I know just, oh, like you're, you're, ready, you're ready to sign up there, George? Oh man! Oh, you, you know, they, George, you just need to try one of like the crunchy one. No, the that's crunchy not extract in it. You know, he he starts off with like um like we did with Todd, like a white lightning, and oh, then yeah. he moves on to the one chip challenge. Oh yeah, and something like that. The bite. The, um, I was around the George one could do like the Fuego chocolate. That would be his yeah. speed. Yeah. Yeah. The um, oh man, my friend's sending Katie some. Um, I I don't know if it's it's ghost peppers or the Reapers, um, um, jerky. And I tried a piece of that uh, about a month ago when my friends were doing the one chip challenge in the in the bar, and I like for like an hour, my mouth was just not. It's not fun. Like I just I. <laughs> I, I don't get it, you know. Uh, we're just yeah, trying to make sure. We're just trying to make sure that we're not immortals. We we need to know that we still feel pain. Right. Oh just... well, I mean, when I when I eat fifteen pounds of food in an hour, or you know, in, in but I minutes. can't do that, so I do it the other way. <laughs> okay, we'll see. That, there we are then. <laughs> I, I enjoy stubbing my toe once in a while. That wakes me up too, you know. 
and he is a, <laughs> and he is a lot about pain challenge. Ooh, you know, it's about yeah. how much pain you can take in your mouth. And knowing that you're, you know, late, later at some point you're going to have pain in your stomach, and um, it's all it's also not being afraid. You know, I can tell you some challenges I've done where the heat in my mouth, you know, you get that fear, and it was early on, but you get that fear that this is ever going to come down. And I think once you conquer the fear of the heat in your mouth, then it's more about you know, you start you start to think, all right, how bad am I going to cramp up? How long is that going to last for? You start worrying about things like that. Sometimes I think people don't finish challenges because they're worried about what's going. It's not so much about what's going on in here, but what's going on in here. But I did. I did a Katie, um, like she did with the Virgin Two Chug. I, not, I didn't get quite as bad, but when I did three bags of Rummy Bears, it was the first time I could actually feel my fingers were tingling, and there was there was another sensation. I forget what it was. But it was like the first time. I had ever felt those things, and I was like, "Holy mackerel!" That was, that, and now, then of course, that was three packages. I got ten packages of those sitting over here now. That's insane. You know, before wow. I did the chug yeah. challenge, I googled if you could die from too much capsation. <laughs> I, I about mine. I about mine freak myself out even doing it. That's why I even know. It. You know, I. I, I, before I even ate a stinking psycho bar, which is nothing. I mean, it really is nothing in the chili community. That's just a snack. But I got a hold of my doctor. Yeah, three years ago, I had open heart surgery. I'm diabetic. I got all these underlying issues, right? So I got a hold of my doctor. I said, now these guys are talking me into doing all these hot things, you know. Is that going to hurt me? And she laughed and she said, you can eat as much of that crap you want. She said, I don't care how many Scovilles it is. She says, because it's not going to kill you. She says, but you will wish you had died. <laughs> yep. What? Yeah. My doctor is telling me you're going to yeah, wish you I had read... died. Yeah. So, so I that's I why read, I got brave and did it. I too, Shane. I think. No, go ahead. I'm so sorry. Oh, she. No, you go right ahead. I was just gonna say, I think, I, I think I read you have to eat five pounds of Carolina Reapers before it would be fatal, and nobody can physically do that because you would you would reverse right. before. How, how many you pounds? Could finish. Yeah, five. Yeah, Dustin five ate pounds. a pound and a half. So Dustin, if you're listening, you you, you want if Dustin the next time you want to do like a four and a half pound. Just don't go to the five pounds, Dustin, in case you're lurking. Yeah. Don't go to five. Cut it off. Cut it up right Tri off. Triple. An ounce or two before you hit five. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the, Laura. But the, that's uh, what she said, too, is, is that by the time you get enough capsation where it's going to do bodily harm to you, she said you're going to reverse it all. She says you won't be able to hold it down. And oh, I, I, told, I told her, I said, well, what about the cramps? And she says, live through them. They're not going to kill you. They're going to make you wish you were dead, but they're not going to kill you. <laughs> and she says, and if you call an ambulance, she says, you better have a couple grand set aside to pay for the ambulance ride and getting your stomach pumped, which is more miserable than just riding it out. So, so I said, well, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm stupid. <laughs> so Phil sends me a bunch of Reapers. And, yeah. And Very all nice. this history. <clears throat> this well, Cindy. I Ate one of the ones that Neil sent me. I, I saw a question that uh, B put up there: if like if the competitive eaters get cramps afterwards right, right. of eating, like I mean, you know, just think about your like the biggest Thanksgiving dinner you ever had. But sometimes on the sodium, like I'll I'll get dehydrated if I have too much sodium. Like the other day, I I ate like um, I try I attempted to eat. I think it was. Ten sandwiches and it, it, like six of them were uh, wagyu beef burgers, but there was a lot of brisket. And I was dehydrated for a couple hours. I was banging out some gang signs because my hands were like cramping up, and you know, so I I get cramps from the dehydration part of it, not necessarily from too much food in my stomach. I was yes. wondering about that with the high intake of sodium with some of the f competitive foods. Is do you run into issues yeah. with with all that sodium intake? You know. Well, that's Especially a mistake. You drink water before. If you never drink water, you're always dehydrated. You'll never notice the difference. 
<laughs> yeah. He's got some of the best over. advice, don't he? I, I <laughs> love it. Where have you been the last ten years? I've been training. <laughs> <laughs> been been training. But even with like, I mean, you know, we were talking about my size. You know, I'm I'm 320 pounds today, but ten years ago I was 400 pounds, and the you know just the 20 hot dogs, the sodium take would put me on the couch for two days, you know, bloated and just miserable. But like today, I mean, I could go down the street. I, I order 40 hot dogs just for a run. And then it's like, okay, let's go out all night. So, um, wow. you know, and after contest, we go out and it's like nothing, you know, I mean, you know, for the July, man, like it's, it's after the after parties are, are bigger than the uh, event sometimes, you know, not this year with 2020, it was a good party, but it wasn't, wasn't big like the past, but, uh, you know, we get a little crazy. Well, we did the nine cheeseburgers. <laughs> I only did seven of them. That's and I, 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 had, I got a headache, and I felt like crap afterwards. It kind of like ruined the rest of my Saturday. Okay. And that's stupid. And that's stupid. I don't know if it was just all the bread or what it was, but I had never felt like that before. I mean, obviously, it's different from the spicy challenge, but I was like, oh, God, I don't think I can do this. Of course, I'm sure I could if, uh, if I trained like you guys do, but it's like, holy mackerel. Sure. I mean, you got your carb intake and there's sodium too. I don't know what what uh, burgers did you guys use? McDonald's, McDonald's cheeseburgers. Oh yeah, full sodium and all that. Yeah, that's all, yeah almost stuff. pure salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know. Well, I was gonna say your body gets used to it though, Phil. Because I like I said the first time I started training, I I would have to go to sleep like right away. And now, like when we did the nine cheeseburgers. Like, I'm not going to pretend it was easy for me. I had to really push, but I felt fine afterwards. Like, I didn't even feel bloated at all. So, you just kind of get used to it. Similar yeah. to spice, I guess. Uh, with, with spice with me, I'm starting to try to chase that endorphin rush. Well, and, and that's true, yeah. too, because, I mean, you become, you know, um, immune to certain things. And, you know, like, I've, I've done five pounds of kibasi in the past and eight pounds of kibasi and the hot dogs and, and all that stuff. And this past weekend, I attempted to eat 2,000 slices of pepperoni um, in an hour on Sunday. And I went out to dinner afterwards. You know, I had a nice, you know, home-cooked meal at some, my friend's house. So after attempting to eat nine pounds of, um, you know, pepperoni. So you get this, 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 was, this was Katie's fault. I watched oh, okay. Katie, someone challenged Katie to do this big bottle of sriracha. And uh, I wanted to do it. <laughs> this was probably about a year and a half ago. And I wound up doing yeah. a big bottle of sriracha. Probably didn't do it as quickly as Katie did. I, I, I was surprised when I was doing it. When I The first time I took it down from my mouth, that was, there was only you know, like two or three inches gone. I'm like, what the hell? It seems like I was drinking that crap forever. <laughs> Oh, and you bitched about the taste of sriracha for a month after that. Oh, and, and I'm sorry, but this is a little graphic. But for the next two days, the smell of the poops, <laughs> the smell of the poops with that sriracha in your system was fouler than anything I've ever smelled before in my life. I'm sorry. Just had to say it. Oh, yeah, God. he's just a poop sniffer. <laughs> oh, come on. <gasps> You gotta you smell it. Thank you, Raven. <laughs> Make sure everything's right, huh? Like you're in the bathroom. You're gonna smell it. I mean, it is what it is, right? Uh, I've been smelling pepperoni since Sunday, so I, I get it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the mood for pizza by any means right now. It, well, it was. You know what? It was her fault too that I did the nine cheeseburgers because I watched her video. Doing oh, nine yeah. cheeseburgers, and I was like, and, and I made a comment on Facebook that says, "Hmm, I wonder if I could do that." And Katie's like, "Oh, I'm sure you could do it, Phil. No problem." But I'm like, "All right." So next thing I know, I'm getting these guys together, and I sent the invite out to, you know, I actually sent the invite out to a lot of people, but Katie, Mike, and Dan were the only ones that replied back. And uh, I, and I sent, I sent to send it out to, I, well, I sent it out to Randy Santel. I sent it out to Molly. Um, I sent out to a couple other people too, but but you got you know, Big Eater Mike and Katie and Dan were awesome and showing up. And of course, again, another pros versus Joes. That was fun. We're gonna got to do this like maybe once a month, you know, on a 
on a day where we just get the pros and the Joes together. And then that way, if I ask Dan or ask you guys to do this again, you know, I, I don't see, I'm always, I always feel awkward. I didn't even ask Katie. I put it on my Facebook and we're Facebook friends. So she said, I'd love to do it. I'm like, I always feel weird asking. I don't feel weird asking other chili heads, but I always feel weird asking, you know, competitive eaters that are outside of what we do to come on and do stuff. So, but if, well, if I please, did like a once a month thing, that'd be cool. Definitely. That's awesome. And please don't feel awkward. Ask me. I'm, I'm up for anything. You know, I, I live for this stuff, um, you know, to get out of my comfort zone and, you know, more and more like this year, I've done the spicy stuff and I've been wanting to talk to Katie about collabing with doing other stuff too, because I am getting out of my comfort zone. Uh, but if you guys do like a, a, a monthly challenge or something, you know, speed wise or whatever, I'm, I'm all about it, you know, so please well, you're not for the free future. Sheet t-shirt every time, George. Well, you know, <laughs> one's good for me. One, one in a lifetime. I can live with that. You know. Hey, um, that's got to be the most expensive t-shirt on your teespring boy to fit him. Oh, yeah. lordy. <laughs> Good for well, you, George. <laughs> are you are you a three X or a four X? No, no, three X. Um, no, it's, it, really. Order them. If, if it's cut right, I could do a two X, but a three X is comfortable because if, Dude, I, I, if I eat that day, that's all right. what all the super chats are for. All the super chats. Yeah. So thank you everyone for buying me a T shirt tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're so, welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, if, well, if you notice, I've got a bunch. Most everybody in my uh, chat are members. I have got a great bunch of supporters that support the channel and, uh, and allows us to be able to do a lot of the stuff that we do do here. And to be, you know, I, we just I just uh, a night or two ago, I gave out a you know a T shirt and a hoodie. Joe got a hoodie. Another one of my folks he got, stole you know, it from me. We give away stuff all the time, time. And, and we and we and it allows me to do the bigger challenges. Like when I did the eight boxes of bites, that was, I don't know what, two hundred and eighty bucks, or that was when I did the one chip challenge and I did thirty four of those. That was expensive. So, but the oh, people sure. that come and support this channel is the only reason I've been able to do these really big challenges, and they've helped elevate me in the league of fire to the point that I am, and I can't think. I can't thank these people enough, and there's 39 of them sitting there right now. I've been watching, so I can't thank them enough. What's up, Dorito? Yeah, you're not worthy. <laughs> you are right. You are right. I, I'm, I'm a lucky man. I, I get what you're saying. I, 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 all my fans that support me and the local businesses that sponsor me and stuff. It's, it's, you know, sometimes I just get taken away because, you know. For hot dog training, that you know, I, I train at a local hot dog trailer, and I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for them because you know I'll eat six hundred hot dogs in three months for training, and you know even at a dollar a piece, it's still you know that's six hundred dollars out of my pocket bucks. for training. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so, wait. They you know. have a specific place to just train to eat hot dogs. I do. You know, <laughs> it's, that, I mean, it's a food truck. Ain't going but, nowhere. <laughs> that vendor is not going nowhere. Oh no, she's they're awesome. I mean, but it's a, it's a local food truck. They do you know cheeseburgers and hot dogs and burnt you know uh, cheese steaks and hey, French fries and stuff. Some of the best food on the mountain. But um, you know, my mentor and I we've been training there for five six years now. You know, three months out wow. of the year, and you know, and I go support them year round, and I you know I do their food reviews and different things, and you know i got people driving in all over the you know the country to just go eat at that little food truck now because they want to stop there and check it out so yeah. we started this whole uh hashtag the smorgasbord list and um you know it's it's where i eat and who you know where i support local and everyone's That's just great. you know they That's want to awesome. hear the yeah thank you you know so I, I try to give it back to you know who supports me you know treat people the way you want to be treated so um i want to say i'm already a subscriber on your channel um and you know a couple of you you know um and then i know i just sent you a friend request uh phil today that. on uh, facebook so um you know but that's it's what it's all about it's just you know we we try to i know you guys take care of each other and your spicy community we do the same thing in the food community but you know in, as humans we should just take care of each other you know help each right. other out i right. i feel you know yeah. it doesn't matter what yep. community we're in doesn't matter you know, yeah exactly you know 
Yeah. So straight but, across yeah, the board. You're, you're, both, you're making me want to go thaw out that large package of red snappers that I got in my freezer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a few years. <sighs> My parents just brought it from brought them from Maine this last this year. Yeah, you see that game? Food is good. Yeah, I see that. I'm not sure why you're saying yuck. Is it because it's sushi or because it's from yeah. the grocery store? From probably probably <laughs> sushi, probably because it's I don't know. Sushi. I like sushi. If that's what your yeah, issue me is. Too. So, well, what was it with uh, LA Meat where he ate like a big sushi roll, like a five pound sushi, sushi roll? roll? That was that insane. Was yeah, that was ridiculous. Now, that's someone early on when I started doing this stuff that I watched a lot of his videos and try to, you know, I tried to emulate some of the stuff that he did, but it's, you know, you, it's, it's, you know, when you're, when you're mostly strictly spicy to do, you know, he, he, he did some of the challenges and create. Well, he was the one that got me to do, um, see how many Carolina Reapers. In a minute, I could eat because he had gone uh, to a competitive <laughs> book of world record thing, and he did fourteen in one minute. Well, that's where I learned that I I'm not a competitive eater in that <laughs> way. Because I was able to do seven in one minute, but um, yeah. And then, of course, the most well, Carolina Reapers I've ever eaten in one sitting. Actual fresh Carolina Reapers was that one day I did the twenty one on the live stream. So I think I. I I, I think the worst physical reaction I've ever seen out of Phil with any of his challenges was him trying to chow down a peanut butter and Miracle Whip sandwich and follow it up with buttermilk. Oh, oh. Gosh. oh I I have mm. that for us. Mm. Last night I had that I, for my midnight snack. <laughs> I had had two peanut butter and Miracle Whip sandwiches and a big tall glass of buttermilk. You betcha. And Lord, Phil and I, Phil and I sat together, and I never saw somebody so physically distraught as this oh. guy. And every time you take a sip of that buttermilk, it looked like his whole body was going to explode. It was just like, blah, 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 blah. and it, just, yeah, and, just thinking you know, about and that's, that's a challenge. Live, that's a challenge. Oh. See, see, and. Phil won't do that. I, I'll tell you what, we'll get four quarts. Each of us get four quarts of buttermilk, Phil, and we'll 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 do a competitive buttermilk drinking contest. You and I. I'd love to love to see that. And I, I can drink it casual. What's that? Katie? Oh, oh I was gonna say I just did a crazy challenge that you guys will get to watch later this month on main event pong's channel. So uh oh, Nosh, yeah. if you're subscribed to him. But we did a power hour, which typically like you're doing a shot of alcohol or beer or something every minute for an hour. But uh -huh. we did um, fireball eggnog. And then oh. every 10th minute, we did a shot of um, of actual fireball. So look forward oh, to that. Oh, that's interesting. Fun. I can't wait to see that video. That, that's yeah, going to that be a good one. That sounds pretty sweet. Yeah. There's a lot so. of cream. <laughs> yeah. No, be, be lady. I do not need help with food. Be lady. No, I don't need any help with food. Um, in He's fact, right now, <laughs> in fact, right now, I am definitely out of this whole panel. I'm the odd man out. I haven't had a. a I had a. I had a um, English muffin this morning at seven o'clock, and that's all I've eaten in the last actually consumed other than drinking fluids and coffee for the last 24 hours. And I won't eat any solid foods again until about five o'clock tomorrow night. So, so I'm sitting here watching you guys eat McRibs and I love them. <laughs> and my stomach is growling like a SOB. I did. I, yeah, I am so damn hungry. I am so damn hungry, but it's not for lack of food. I got, I got enough food to last six months in my cupboards and fridge and, and no i just gotta quit eating like a pig <laughs> Mike, i do want to make sure the people sandwich. in the chat do know one thing i know the people in the chat know the people that are on the panel you know groovy lava squirrel medic uh travis hasn't been up here very often you guys know joe you know sty you know samantha lee and you're probably everybody in the chat is subscribed to these channels you definitely should be checking out beyond seattle eats and George, the smorgasbord, 
um, ch Chigger. Chigger, yeah. Got to get it right. Got Chigger. Um, and check out their channels. I mean, again, you're, you'll get a you get a well-rounded idea of you know competitive eating, whether it be spicy or um, you know quantity, for sure. So they're definitely something you want to do. Yeah, thank you for the shout out. Oh, I mean, yeah, I you know, hey, you know, I do I do a lot with this channel, and sometimes I think the channel suffers for it as far as the number of subscribers that we have here. I have here, but you know, to for me, it's about the community, it's about the people, and it's about the support and the love that the people have shown me since I've been on you. I don't want to go down that road again, but my, I got great people, so. <laughs> Well, Phil, when I first well, started coming, I was only up. like 40, and now I'm over 200, man. It's just from being here with y'all and hanging out and stuff. So you've helped me out dramatically. Yeah, yeah and, and that's it. That's it. And Phil and I have talked about it a lot. And sometimes we have discussed, yeah, we might do things that are even to our detriment to help our the, our followers, our the channels that follow us because we follow them. I, I mean, right. And we we tell people we tell we tell people, hey, don't people will contact us and say, oh wow, I was <laughs> going to do a live stream, but it's going to kind of land on top of here. And I tell them, go for it, do it. Don't don't look at whether Phil or I are live streaming. You have to think of your own channel, also, you know. And 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 that, that's what we love about this community. None of us have hold hard feelings towards each other ever. I've never seen it. I've never, I've never seen people slight somebody because they felt they got their toes stepped on. We here we stomp on each other's toes and and really make fun of each other and and we all walk away laughing and and that's like that's like this guy over here, Joe, Joe. Yeah, he convinced me that he's the sexy bitch in the stream. I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When Joe and I get when Joe and I get going at it with each other, one of us will say, "Hey, hey, you sexy bitch, you need to calm down a little bit." <laughs> and it, 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 it just it, everybody starts laughing. And we move. On, you know? I think and, Joe needs to learn how to grow a beard first, though. You know, well, I've been working he, on it for he's a working month. on it. A month. He's, he's working on it. Okay. All right. It's a start. Yeah, he's almost he's almost caught up with my back. I I, yeah. I shaved. <laughs> On um, <laughs> right, I, I shaved Halloween. This okay. is that, that's how slow this grows. I was gonna say that I shaved Halloween. Yeah, yeah. that's what most guys. <laughs> we, we've got someone in the basement. The word for uncle is Ojisan. Ojisan. Now you try it. <laughs> What's up, Ojisan? How you doing? Ojisan. Ojisan. What's up, Jimmy? Come on, Marcel. Oh, get him, Marcel. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. Damn. Oh, <laughs> How you doing, Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hold it on. Hold it on. That's great. Now, Jimmy is our artist. So, see, Jimmy Jimmy does artwork. He has a channel. Where, he, Jimmy does a lot of things, but he has a channel. Where he does a lot of electronic artwork on the computers and stuff, and actually sells a lot of his stuff too. So, and he's been yeah. dabbling in the spicy yep. world. He is the um. What, what, do you call yourself, what do you call yourself, Jimmy? You, you gotta unmute yourself, Jimmy. Yeah, unmute yourself, Jimmy. Unmute yourself. There you go. There. No, oh, it doesn't matter whether he's muted or not. <laughs> we still he's, can't hear you. He's mute. <laughs> he's a mute. He's talking to us in sign language. <laughs> uh, now I get it. But by the way, the artwork he did today, that video was amazing. That that piece turned out awesome. Don't even look at that video. It was good. There he is. No. George. No, here, now here's our original Sasquatch. That's killed your survival. Killed your is actually there. Is, is the reason why I came up with. Um, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. We can hear you now. All right. I love that. That's great. But, but, go, but, kill but, there, Go. George as well. When I found out he's six foot seven. So. Uh, yeah. Well, I, what I was saying was I'm officially number two eighty four. The world's worst chili head. 
if you go on League of Fire and look, I'm at the bottom of the list. <laughs> and he's proud of it. I am. I, am. I watched one of your videos yeah. recently, Jimmy. Um, I think you were talking about the aftermath. Yeah. And how challenging it is to deal with the aftermath yeah. of uh, spicy challenges. It was a great video. Oh, thank and you. Right, thank you. On your forehead. And... <laughs> yeah, I did. I, <laughs> for some reason, it hits my gut super hard. All of these things do. What's so. up, DJ Low? Hey, DJ. Say hey, DJ Low. Yeah, that's my buddy. How you uh, doing, man? Good to see you. Appreciate the kind words, Groovy Lava Squirrel. That was, that was a fun stream today. <laughs> <laughs> Today was chaos with work. I would have had y'all going on on the side. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been uh, Christmas shopping and wrapping. Area? That's work. <laughs> <laughs> so normally I've got stuff playing over here while I'm working. Yeah, it's. Uh, I have a hard time at work trying to stay off when I'm not busy of staying off the computer and looking at YouTube's crap and different things. So yeah. Can't imagine if I was home. Although I did do it at home. I wouldn't, I was, uh, I actually could focus a little better uh, when we were home for the pandemic and we could, you know, we could sell cars from home. I could get on the computer and I could stay focused better. I would get something done before I would even do anything else. And that work is completely different. But I don't know. Man, I wish I could have worked from I... home at all during this entire time. That'd be <laughs> nice. Man, not me either. Me either. I'm sitting there in the Texas heat, San Antonio, outside training soldiers in 120 degree weather, and y'all are like, "Oh, I'm stuck at home." I'm like, "Please, please let me stay home." But, but, but you, but you are. You know, you're important. You're important to the. You know. Uh, oh, Gary, two sellers. I'm fine, man. <laughs> I snapped up out of bed, believe it or not, at five o'clock this morning. I've been up ever since. Wow. Now, now, do you guys ever get black flag days there, Travis? No, we uh, we take breaks and we submerge trainees and ice water up to their shoulders and cool down their core temperature. But we're in full battle route. We're rocking and rolling. Because I can remember a few days when I was in Okinawa, it would get so hot in Okinawa that they would just give us black flag days and we didn't have to work. They put oh. up a black flag on the um. On the base, and it was a non-work day. No, I you, have you I have new that. medics from day one, and they're here for sixteen weeks. Their set their schedule is set. So, so are you part of the Air Force Marines or something? I mean, it's, you've had a lot of special things that you. There weren't there weren't many days like that. <laughs> there there were there were I want to say there were two or three days in the eighteen months that I spent there that we had black flag days. And he did I, PT I, I twice a week, and he didn't have yeah. to shave, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I it was a I, different I, time, I was hood and, and we man. We didn't have, I think I think I had it rougher than Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> over there mopping the floors, like dang, this is just sucks. <laughs> Sweeping the motor pool. Oh. Yeah. Well, my second tour to Okinawa, you know, I had pretty much done everything in artillery that we could do. And I went back with a different artillery battery and they've sourced me out. And I wound up doing this garrison property job, which was like a um, <laughs> an inventory job. I wound up with a desk job for six months in the Marine Corps. Oh, wow. it, must, it must have been horrible to get that paycheck. It's, it was it was it was it was horrible because you know I had an air conditioned two man room. We didn't live in squad bays or sectioned off squad bays. We had air conditioning in Okinawa, which was just unheard of. It was just you know it was, it was horrible. Yeah, it was an entirely different story from the first time I went there for sure. Yeah, I think you just bought that marine hat. Have it sitting beside you. you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was way over there. Still in valor. Still that, valor. Valor. That, that one's not even mine. That one's a digital because they we didn't have do digital when I was in. So. <laughs> oh. so that made me think of a story. So my my husband likes hot sauce, but nothing like too crazy like we do. Um, but I remember when he was in the Marine Corps, he came home one day from training and they all had to be maced in the face. I don't know if you ever had to go through that. Um, yeah, that, that was intense. Um, and of yeah. course he made the mistake of like trying to wash it and the water reignited it and oh, it was 
a long, long night. Yeah, well, now that was getting maced because again, we went through the gas chamber, you know, not only in boot camp, yes. but a couple other times, you know, while we were in the Marine Corps as well. But uh, yeah, I never had to get maced, but usually it's the, it's the MPs that get maced in the face. And usually the reason they do that is because they the MPs have mace. So they want you to know they mace you so you know that that is, you know, almost like deadly force. You're using the mace on someone. Now, it, was he an MP, though? No, he was a small arms repairman, so I have no idea why they did that to him. But. They were just First shits it. and giggles. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know this doesn't look like me anymore. Oh, that was that. Eight, that was eighteen year old me in, in, in San Diego during boot camp. I so say you you've seen nineteen year old me. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. That's where he was at. He was he was stationed at Camp Pendleton. That's where my son was born. Yeah, and and, and, we, and we can't and we, you know into the Paris Island Marines. We're not even real Marines. We're Hollywood Marines to them. It's like, <laughs> Come on, man. So so what? We yeah. have sand fleas, you know. Oh. It sounds like it was what you were just talking about. You're doing. You are a well, marine. Well, boot, well, boot camp is a little different <laughs> than the fleet marine corps, but yeah. <laughs> so talking about the gas chamber, when I was at Fort Sill, I, I would be in charge of ranges for medical coverage for all their ranges. Nick at night, where they're getting fired at, and they have to crawl underneath and everything. Oh, that was fun. And the rappel tower, and then we were also the <laughs> medics for their. Gas chamber. I would make sure that every year on my birthday, I would make sure to get stationed on the gas chamber that day for medical coverage. Because instead of them just like saying their serial number, social, and all that stuff, I'd make them sing me "Happy Birthday" before they could leave the gas chamber. <laughs> and it was great. And if I had like really bad sinuses, I'd volunteer to go too because it would just wipe everything out, and I'd be good to go. I did. I did my artillery training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. The Marines do all their artillery training. They're on the Army base. Now, I will tell you a story about Fort Sill. Now, of course, Fort Sill is the next thing you do after Marine Corps boot camp. So a Marine Corps boot camp, man, you come out of there, you go home, you say, yes, sir, get no, get no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. You are, you are, you, you are as trained for all of that stuff. Uh, you, you know, you, you don't even, you stand at attention at home when you come out of boot camp. It's, it's weird. It's, it's, it's hard to explain to everybody, but so – so you got 10 days off, and then you go to your MOS training, which mine was for artillery at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And we weren't there a couple of days, and we're sitting in the mess hall. This is an Army base. I'm sitting in the mess hall, and there's this one Army guy. All these other Army guys get up and go. He still hasn't cut, hasn't, just still hasn't gotten his hair cut yet. So he's that fresh to boot camp that he hasn't even got his hair cut yet. A drill instructor comes in there and starts telling him he needs to get his butt out in formation with the rest of uh, with the rest of the recruits, actually, they called them soldiers, even though they weren't soldiers yet. They had, we had completed training. He says, "But sergeant, I haven't finished my food yet." And the sergeant tells him, "You got two more minutes, and I expect you outside." And us Marines looked at each other like, <laughs> "Are you kidding me?" He gave him two more. We were told we were the first first ones to eat. Our drill instructors went in after us, and. Everybody better be standing outside tall in formation before the drill instructors got done. If you saw one of your drill instructors stand up, you better be running to get outside because there is no way in hell drill instructor come in and have to come find you, much less tell you, oh, yeah, you get another two minutes to finish your pick. <laughs> we, we were beside ourselves. I would have crushed <laughs> that kid's soul into a million pieces. Oh, my gosh. But he, <laughs> he didn't even have his hair cut yet, so I can imagine he was – I mean, that's – you know, in the Marine well, Corps boot camp, they take you in in the middle of the night. You're all disorientated, and they do all your in-processing and everything, so you're not rubbernecking around and looking around and everything else. These Army guys still didn't even have their hair cut. Couldn't believe it. Now, <laughs> now you guys you guys were talking about mace and gas. I, I've, I've been through both, but how many of you have been tased? I want to. Oh, even Samantha! Oh <laughs> Lord! Oh my God! Yes! I yes, know. yes. This is that crazy I, shit. I want to know why Samantha was tamed. I need the story. In That's my life. I, yeah. I'm stopping mine short. I want to hear this. <laughs> oh God! No, I bought one and for self defense, 
And my brother was being a dick. So he thought he would <laughs> grab it and be like, well, you're going to freaking zap others. Let's see how you like it. And he freaking zapped me, dude. I was not happy about it. <laughs> oh, I suppose <laughs> not. And it stops you. Like, it works. That's for sure. <laughs> Freaking, <laughs> my hand he got me right in the hand because i tried to block it and um that radiated all the way from my fingertips to like my chest my face i could feel it it was just not yeah and it burns for a while so <laughs> yeah i i was going i was going through law enforcement training and one of the requirements was is that you had to experience a tasing and and I took it four times and I only peed myself once. <laughs> um, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. And it was like, I think it was the third time that it, that's when I peed myself. Um, most of the guys peed themselves right on the first go, but they, they weren't, they weren't nice to us. They weren't nice to us at all. They told us, they said, yeah, you're, you guys are going to, you know, we run really hot on you guys. So you know what you're, Good to see you have. what, what, um, when, when you've got a perp and you've got to you tase him, what he's going to be feeling. And I'll tell you what, I never did that. Knock your feet right out from under you, boy. Oh, and, nice. and I, 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 I got tased once in a squad car. I was just riding. I was, I mean, I was co-pilot and I wasn't even an officer. I'm just riding with a buddy of mine. And he had unholstered his taser and set it on the center console by his laptop. You know, they got a laptop computer, all that crap. And, and he's got it sitting in front of his laptop. And all of a sudden here comes this kid and he got a call in that this kid had just robbed a house, blah, blah, blah. And he's, hot on this kid's tail with the squad car. And he drives through this little city playground. It's in, it's at night. Halfway across the playground, the guy dives underneath this merry-go-round kind of thing. Thinks he's going to hide there. Well, my buddy says, I'm going to tase that son of a bitch. And he reached, as he's getting out of the squad, he reached over, grabbed his taser, and he fired the son of a bitch right into my left rib cage. Oh. Where, where, where is the trigger discipline here? Right? Exactly. Well, right from even out of his holster. I mean, <laughs> this, it, it was out of his holster before that call ever came in. What's it doing on his console? I mean, and oh, we were buddies up till then. <laughs> I, I never rode with shotgun with him ever again. Uh, and and oddly enough, I was riding shotgun with another cop, and we were chasing down these three little hoodlums that were terrorizing this one little neighborhood, and we cornered them little buggers by these dumpsters, right? And three squads. And here's the guy that had tased me about 18 months earlier. He jumps out of his squad and he's running around the back of those dumpsters and we're coming around the other side of those dumpsters. I come around first and we knew these little hoodlums, they weren't armed. We we're just going to grab them and make them eat a little bit of garbage dirt. And those throw damn up. ragamuffins. Hoodlums. Yeah, ragamuffins. <laughs> and, Is that and Ben? That's <laughs> oh, she's Yeah. <laughs> <really young. laughs> <laughs> Uh, baby. but yeah, that, so that guy that tased me, he come around the corner and that sucker's flying off with his mace canister and he's got three officers coming around the other side, face first, right into him spraying mace. So I got mace really good that time. I think but he just had he got, it for you. But, I don't think he was actually, but he got, he got his, he got his, he's trying to put his canister back in its holster. And he's getting pissed. He can't get in it. So he shoves it in his pants pocket, right? Mm. Well, it's all the way down in them deep pockets on them, on them, you know, the um, those SOP pants he's wearing. And I, so I walked up and I patted him on the shoulder. I said, you know, I forgive you for spraying me with the mace. The, the, the tasing, I know I still never forgive you. And he goes, oh, come on. And I reached over to that right pocket. 
and I could just feel the top of that mace canister, and I let her spray. So he got a good. It was the mace canister you were grabbing. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's it's what was next to the mace canister that got it got hit. Yeah, yeah, and and you should have heard him on the radio. He had it. He he didn't have his portable on his vest, so he runs the squad and he grabs the the mic and he's standing about. Well, it's tight as you can stretch that mic, and he's yelling at the dispatch. Hey, he's a sheriff's deputy, and he's yelling at the dispatch. Get hold of the sheriff. Tell him I got to go off shift. I got to go off shift. And they said, "Well, get over. We'll get right back to you." Well, they did in about two minutes, and they said the sheriff said, "Work through whatever your problem is." <laughs> I thought, yeah, yeah, you got a pants full of mace. Work through it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get tasered just to you know for some for something like a membership first like a certain number of subscribers or something but i don't i don't i don't have any i don't have any um i don't want to get maced <laughs> that i don't not. I mean, to, to me getting tased would probably be better the of course there'd be got to be a couple people to make sure they let me down unless i was on my knees getting uh um tased. well that's what we had too we had, we had a man on either side of us when we'd get tased uh, but they wouldn't touch you until uh, until Maybe. the charge was done, and then they'd grab you before you actually hit the ground, and they'd ease you down to the ground on your knees. Good night, be lady. Nice, so, lady. Uh, what we did, we actually made them change when I was in Germany for my first duty station. Uh, we made them change the door handles for every single door in the barracks because we had little stun guns, uh, and we would yeah. wait. We'd knock on people's door, and it was the solid metal. Yeah. And we'd be on the other side with the stun guns, and as soon as we feel them start to turn the handle, we'd shock the handle. So everybody's, like, trying to open their door with their foot. With their foot. <laughs> <laughs> you only get caught with it once. But then we learned that uh, it's funner as a medic to use medical supplies to prank people because uh, a lumbar puncture needle and a chest tube tray – Makes a perfect blow dart gun. Oh no! And uh, if you go and put uh, nitro uh, for people that like have the nitro paste for like heart issues and stuff. Yep. Just go put it underneath somebody's door handle outside. Just make sure you're there to catch them because they're gonna pass out like that, and they're not gonna be happy with you. <laughs> That's the stuff we have fun with because we Medical are sadistic. That's scary. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I love everybody here, but I hope I don't ever meet Travis in person. <laughs> <laughs> we only do it to each other, though. So I, I wouldn't do it to you because. Especially if it's a medical emergency. I mean. <laughs> well, the best part about the lumbar puncture needles, they're so skinny and they're so long. Like if you shoot it and hit somebody in the calf, it's so sharp. They won't even feel it go in until they start to take a step. And by that time, you're a phantom. You're a ghost. You're gone. They don't know what's going on. Wow. We had fun times in the hospital working at night. <laughs> There's where your tax dollars are going, folks. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what they charge us per dose out here in the <laughs> private sector? <laughs> Flat hard, flat hard. I don't know. Well, that's that's the problem with the military is you know you get, when you give a bunch of guys too much downtime, and they have weapons and they have medical supplies and different things like that, they're bound yeah. to get into trouble. Just asking for it, you bet. Well, it's a scientific fact. If you put soldiers in an area with rocks and you give them nothing to do, I have <laughs> tested this multiple times with the trainees that we have come through different groups within five minutes one person starts picking up rocks and throwing rocks at something within seven minutes of them sitting down with nothing to do they'll start to make a game of who can hit the object with the rock first and i have even brought people aside and said this is when it's going to start this is when the game is going to start and they'll sit there like there's no way and i'm like yes watch and we sat there and it happened we have yep. way too much time on our hands sometimes like monkeys, just, hurry up and just, wait. Just little boys in the playground. That's what it is. With, yeah, and and all the swings are missing. Yeah, 
<laughs> yep. So, remember my husband telling me that when he was in Iraq that they would have like camel spiders yes. and other insects, reptiles, whatever they could find like scorpions battle each and other. camel spider, that's the best fight ever. Yeah. Oh really? We could we yeah. just feed the scorpions. Yeah. We'd we'd catch those little we chase around the small lizards that are fast, little fast ones, until they broke a leg. Then you toss it in the box. Let's <laughs> 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 see. We we did a lot of stuff oh, while so I was in Iraq. My first one, because my first deployment was seventeen months yeah. long. So we had a lot of we had a lot of time. And we got really bored. So this was like right when. Uh, jackass was a big thing on TV, so we would be slamming people through picnic tables before YouTube and all that stuff was big, and that's what we would do. I have I've I've stood guard on top of the Ministry of Oil with my vest on and nothing else, and we just we were bored. Military, the real reason Jackass was made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, pure bored. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, and then, months some, a long time. and then some, some of us get our willies by standing out in the backyard, embarrassed at himself, trying to st stomp on a garden rake. <laughs> wearing a cheap ass, that look, what was that, a hockey helmet you were wearing? It was actually at, a real hockey helmet, but yes. At, at, <laughs> at, but it was so hilarious. I mean, you could tell. That he knew that if anybody in the world saw him standing out in his yard wearing that hockey helmet with a garden rake laying in front of him, if they drove by, they'd go, ho, oh, oh. ho. <laughs> and he knew it because he, he'd see a vehicle a mile down the damn road coming and he'd stand there nonchalant looking around like, ah, I'm not doing nothing. It was so damn obvious. If I was driving by, I'd seen somebody looking at the <laughs> blue sky. Wearing a hockey helmet with a garden rake laying on the ground in front of him. I know exactly what was wrong with that boy. Yep. The helmet's because he keeps hitting his head against the wall. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with the garden rake. I mean, yeah. The weird things I do. Yeah. I, that when, when I first saw that video, Phil, I said, oh, God. Yeah, he does have to get out of the basement more often. Yeah. Too much well, thought the first time I did it, I did it on my video where I was uh, promoting um, Steve O's um, Jackass Hot Sauce, or not Jackass, but Steve O's Hot Sauce. Right. Um, so I recorded it for that. But hot sauce so, for your butthole. That's a good one. That's right. But but what everybody saw in that video was like a twenty second clip. What people don't realize is it took me about five minutes to get to the point where I actually jumped on the stupid rake. Yeah, if you watch the long video, yeah. the uncut. Now you posted that for uh, the members. Members only, yeah. At first, yeah. and oh, yeah. and I must have watched that fifteen times. It's just freaking <laughs> hilarious watching him. He's at one time he's he's all lined up and he's ready to stomp on the rake, and then he stops and kind of shakes his head like, like he's second guessing himself. Man, he's like, I don't want to. Do Everybody's just yelling at the screen. Just do it now. Yeah, yeah, you're just like this time he will. This time, no, no, mm -hmm. he skipped it again. Oh, here comes another car, so he's nonchalantly walking around. Yeah, yeah, it's you pretty need to post hilarious. That video. That was... Yeah, the, um... yeah, I haven't done a good stunt in a while. I got that's what I was talking to Ann earlier. Is telling you, you know what? I've got I've got to do another stunt. I've got to do something that's you know. Gets me out of my comfort zone, not only in the eating, but in a different way. So I don't know what it is, but you know, I got, I've got to come up, and I don't want any suggestions. So I'm not looking for any suggestions. <laughs> oh, shucks! I was gonna say, I was gonna say, uh, Phil, okay. it's as simple as you coming up here, and we'll go out and we'll go look at a waterfall. <laughs> I got some suggestions. <laughs> I bet you do there. Oh, no, there's there's all kinds of things. Oh, I, I, know. I, got, there, I got Jimmy. a lot of great, oh, a lot of great yeah. folks to give me a lot of well, that's how I wound up eating 21 Carolina Reapers as I put that out there. And Atomic Menace, Dustin Johnson says, Oh, you should try this uh screaming eagle challenge and eat 21 <laughs> Carolina Reapers. And I was like, ah oh, crap. 
and and all yeah. those, uh, those dried shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh the dried oh. shrimp. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are nasty. I mean, I think that was was wasn't that the first time I was on the panel? It could have been. I could have been. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was gross, so wasn't it, Joe? That's oh, why. Right. I mean, why did you eat one or two of them before, and then they super chatted me enough money to eat them all? I was like, God damn! I dumped <laughs> them all out on my thing, and I just oh, oh. like <laughs> take a tastes like bait. Try it, freeze. <laughs> just there was what about twelve or so of those stupid things on yeah, there. Yeah, uh, What's up, yeah. Brian? How and, you doing? And I've got, I've got bait. Plastic baits look just like them shrimp. Look just like them. And and I had opened that pack up this summer, and I thought, whoa, yeah, I bet you that's what Phil smelled like too. Yeah, stink bait. Yeah, it wasn't stink good. Bait. Well, this is our next thing because see, we're always doing something. So I think this is what I'm doing on Friday. Now, Jimmy's these are Jimmy's fault. <laughs> see, I, I yeah, I've yeah. always got someone else to blame for my problems. So you know, <laughs> I've always got so so Jimmy. Did he, now see he's, he can only do one of these uh, sour bottles. Yeah. Apparently they're really super. Actually, apparently they taste more like shit than that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now I'm finding out it's they're horrible, not, horrible, and they're actually sour. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're they're Sydney, sour uh, is gonna be the last thing on your mind when you eat. But it. apparently you, know, you can only do one. And Blake and I on Friday night we're going to do the whole pack of all four. Oh man. So we're gonna be competitive eating, but I don't think the it's the volume that's going to be the problem here or the spice. Mine is not gonna be in in time for that. Damn it. Hey Katie, those are those are from Vat 19. Those sour pickle balls. So you, I think, uh, uh, so you know it's gonna be uh, something that's silly. I'll have to look at that. I think you should Hi, do a one minute after um, burn on those. <clears throat> Yeah, I had myself muted. I saw you ask about that. Phil wasn't muting me. I just was not talking, so I wasn't trying to interrupt. Um, but I love pickles, so I would love to try that, although it sounds like it doesn't taste anything like pickles. I got well, the, uh, the pickle balls, the pickle cotton candy, and the pickle soda, and uh, did it all together. And the pickle balls were by far the worst. The cotton candy's nasty, <laughs> but man, who's those balls? Them balls. <laughs> We've heard we've heard that from you before. What you saying? Yeah, them <laughs> balls, them balls are rough, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, George. Yes, we have a little bit of a tradition here on the panel. You don't get offended easily, do you? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, good. I I was gonna say, move me. Don't use me as the example. <laughs> 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 Usually, at some point, you get to center square, and um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take your take your beard really good afterwards. You liked yeah. it. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he <laughs> thought he was back at that hot dog stand. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you, you, I got to really you see some of the memes of me out there taking you know the wieners to the face. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, <no. yeah. laughs> George was actually on Saturday Night Live. They had a clip of him doing a challenge, and it was supposed oh. to be a sexual innuendo. So he's used to those jokes. Oh, oh yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. Have to look yeah. That up. Yeah. It's um. Oh, what is it? It's the first. Uh, it was the first quarantine um, episode they had back in. I, I want to say April. We were in there. I can't think of the the lady's name uh, that did the skit. But, Christina uh, Villasenor. There we go. See, I'm bad with names. Katie's on it. So, uh, yeah, the, the skit's pretty it, – it's really cool. And, uh, yeah, there's definitely some, uh, uh, so, you know, sexual into, you know, windows with uh, Joey eating hot dogs and uh, me and another great eater from Canada. Uh, we were doing a uh, milkshake challenge last year. <laughs> we drank um, a 151-ounce milkshake each in, uh, like, two minutes and 40 seconds, and they used the clip from that in the uh the skit so and for the record I, i've trimmed my toenails since then <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys you guys see he, know knows. You, you see, he already knows <laughs> he already knows what we're like you know <laughs> one thing we learned on phil's panels is never say don't look this up 
<laughs> Never say that. Never say don't Google that. All of a sudden, you got 50 people Google it. Everybody's over in the comments. Oh my gosh! You gotta... We told you not to look. You know. <laughs> Katie, Katie, no, you no, no, intro. Hold on a second, Katie. Would you do me a favor? For just a second, cover your eyes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy God. Okay. That was a You're long good. second. Oh. Good. You're good. Oh, wow. I yeah. my eyes, oh. I feel so is that better you, now. Was that, was that you, Phil? That was me, yes. That, All right. Yeah. Oh, is it you and the man see me? I think I've already seen that, Phil. The, the full frontal, yes. I've I, seen I tell that. You, what, you guys got to join the dive bar on Facebook because that's, I've seen that's it. like real life dive bar footage right there we could all be sitting there in our mantinis you know shotgunning beers and eating uh reapers so <laughs> this is that's real life man this is this is real life for me <laughs> there you go oh yeah <gasps> oh, <geez. laughs> that's always well well i'll there's... tell you what after all this discussion about slamming down 50 hot dogs and like I, I I got this odd urge to watch Sausage Party tonight. Oh, yeah, right. that's a good one. That's yeah. a great movie. <laughs> great movie. Yeah, yeah. I got the. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think I got to watch Sausage Party tonight. Yeah, makes sense. Um, you know, there's a. <laughs> I, I definitely don't get um, uh, offended easily. I go on a morning show in New York City. It's um, in hot water, and the two comedians like I try to like the, they reached out to me to go and. The first time I went on, I I Googled everything I could to find out like what their show is about, but it's it's behind the paid wall. So I couldn't find anything. And I went on and after I, I, I stayed on for the whole segment and the host is like, you know, we really appreciate you hanging out with us because usually people just get up and walk off. And like I've been on a handful <laughs> of times. Yeah. So and like, you know, of course, you know, some people are having difficulties, you know, um, pronouncing my last name and and stuff and they 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 don't pronounce yeah. it correctly either and um you know we don't need to get into that but yeah no i there's <laughs> I, I love this stuff this is great and i i can't thank you guys enough for bringing me on tonight i know i was i was a last minute guest uh you know katie reached out to me and phil thank you for bringing me on and um you know thank you to all you guys i screenshotted a lot of the names so i hope i could track down the pages and, and subscribe yeah. to you guys oh. and, Oh man! And uh, support, you know. So I appreciate you all. All right, cool, man. You know. It's nice meeting you. Oh, Indeed. thanks. Yeah, great meeting yeah. You too, from Alaska. This has I mean, been. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got some people all, all over, over the country. country. And up here, we got someone from Norway. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just it's it's just people all over the the country coming in and checking it out and. That's the, I think that's the neatest thing about the, the whole YouTube group is even before, like, um, you know, I was trying to get my, my memberships up and stuff and like going live with like, there's just so many different, like, you know, you guys are the spice community and, the, and there's like a whole troll community. I kind of got into huh. talking to the trolls because that's what they do. And, you know, but they're like, I mean, we're just, we're all humans and it's just great that we're able to talk to each other. Shared your link all night. Thank you so much for sharing my link. And it's great. <laughs> and Thank it's you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, really appreciate that. And, you know, I'm, I'm growing my channel slowly. And it's, it's been really just this year putting footage up. And I'm, I'm very fortunate. I have a great uh, editor that I'm working with, you know, but he's he's working 70 plus hours a week at his real job. And then he tries <laughs> to help me. And then he has the wife and kids. So, you know, sometimes we're we're on posting, you know, weekly, and then sometimes it's there's some gaps, and it's not for lack of lack of footage. Because I definitely have the footage. Um, we're just trying to get it all edited and put it out there, and then I'll sometimes I'll just go crazy and go live and just put up stuff raw, and I don't know if that helps or doesn't help. And that's you know, all I do. So is, I don't edit oh. anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how. That has nothing to do with my wanting to. I just don't know how to do it, so I just post it. Well, that's okay. both of us. If we have any kind of editing that we do do, it's us doing it. It's not someone else yeah. doing it. 
Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, because I like, I really don't even know how to edit. Like, I can put up some stuff, but like, I just, I, uh, I joined TikTok. Um, I don't know, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and so I've been doing like a lot of speed challenges in three minutes, and I, I'm learning how to speed it up in a minute so it fits on TikTok, and then I'm throwing it out there, and I'm using it to do, um, you know, some other social media stuff, uh, promote some restaurants and you know different things. So I'm I'm learning a little bit, but my guy he he really does he takes it to the next level um, for me. And then I've I've had uh, other eaters actually edit for me also. Darren's done some videos for me, and uh, I just have to sit down and learn. Really, That's hey what it's Tim, about. Hey, I'm, really I'm still learning myself. I'm playing with Adobe Masters, or I'm watching Adobe Masters on YouTube to get tips and tricks on how to do extra editing. That's the coolest thing about YouTube. I, I became a YouTube member, you know, years ago just to like, oh, I need to learn this about a car. Like, hey, how does this guy change this part or yeah, this gun? A how to or video. Yeah. Yeah. The how to videos. And, you know, yeah. I think, yeah. you know, and that's like I started watching Randy Santel back in the day, how to become a competitive eater. And uh, <laughs> then, then, then I watched his videos and then I, you know, started taking I tips from people for over 10 years. And I just okay. started this year. <laughs> okay. I joined Only if you knew. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you knew you should have started posting 10 years ago, right? I know it, right? I, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, Matt Stoney yeah. definitely locked it in at the right time because, Ugh. you know, I'm like, only if I knew 20 years ago. Right. So, but yeah, becoming an influencer at forty—it's kind of—it's it's crazy. But I—I I, I love it. And I enjoy it. And... <laughs> Try to do it when you turn in turn to your sixties. <laughs> well, so we're we're doing it at the same time though. So it's a good time to be doing this. You know, my my financial guy's been yelling at me for two years now. And he's like, "Yo, you missed the YouTube craze. I don't know what you're doing." And I'm like, "Well, I'm trying. Like, Just get out of my way." So yeah, see, I got a, I got into YouTube for commercial reasons, okay. and I I didn't know I didn't have a clue what I was doing because I had watched YouTube for years, but I didn't know that anybody could get up there and post stuff. <laughs> you know, I mm -hmm. think these people they got some special deal with YouTube or something. You know, and when I found out, no, anybody can get start an account. I started doing it for commercial reasons, and I'll never forget when I hit fifty. Subscribers, I was. I lived way out in the boonies. There were two cabins. Yeah, I lived in one, and another person in the other, about 150 feet away from mine. And in the middle of the night, about 2:30 in the morning, they heard me yelling out the door. I've got 15 effing subscribers. I can't believe, it. and you won't believe it. One of them's from South Frickin' Carolina. I said that way down there, and they're watching me. She come out of the cabin and told me to shut the F up and go to bed. She said, I'll, she says, I'll rip that Hughes net dish right off the roof. Get the hell off the internet. But I couldn't believe it. I had 15 people that subscribed to me. I mean, and, and I'm getting, I'm getting 15, 20 views on a video, man. That is hot shit. I, I couldn't believe that. I got people actually watching this stuff, you know, and I think back to then, I wish I could get that excited with 150 views of video now. <laughs> but, what? but yeah, it becomes addictive, just like your food eating. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get up in the morning and the first thing I do is go see, you know, how many views I got and, you know, new subscribers and who shared what. And so, yeah, definitely. It's yeah, exciting. It's, it is. It's it, well, it's fun. It's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's interesting. It, it, it's, you know, you're just adding a, another chapter to your life to get on YouTube and, and build a community, get to know everybody. Heck, Phil and I have been following each other. What now, Phil? It's, it's pushing two years. Hey, eh? it's going to be here not too long from now. Yeah. 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 And no, yeah. it's, it's kind of been two years because I started following you yeah. when I was out on the front porch. And it was late in the season, so it had to be this That's time right. of, before this time of the season. So yes. yeah, we've been it's yes. been two years. Yep. Wow. Yep. So yep. 
And yeah, I'm actually here we are. We're still doing here. it. Yeah. Well, I've only been one of the one March or something like that. And I say I'm one of the newer folks well, around maybe, here. Maybe it's only been a year. I don't know. This year's been screwed no. up because because like no no because started through now. This is all just a blur. Because it would have been well, it's going on two two years. Because all last summer we were hanging together, and it was the summer before. I think it was early in the year that I first met you on YouTube. So well, this this sport, this spring should be two years. Well, see, I started on the porch last year, right? And then at some point when I was out on the porch, and then we became we we became friends, and then that then that winter, which I think was this winter, you know, because as soon as I came inside the house, it I've was been last the house ever since. No, you were there. Out. You were there for my Christmas stream last year, 2019 oh. Christmas stream. Okay. We knew each other all that summer before. Okay. Okay. Up yeah, to that I'm, stream, I'm, and I'm, it was. And you're right because I met you. You were on the porch. <laughs> I used to do in the summertime. I used to do all my porch my streams on the front porch at nighttime. And yep. I, used to, I used to wave at cars going by, trying to get people to come. Pull in the yep. driveway and come up and come up on. <laughs> Nobody ever took me. There. I, could, I used to wave at people. Oh, yeah. We were trying to get him to moon cars, and yeah, he just some things he wouldn't do. <laughs> Good thing. Uh, um, yeah, those times have changed too. Now it's pretty easy to get him to do some stupid stuff. Yeah. Me? <laughs> wow. You, you. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I, yeah. I got on, started posting recently because I moved farther away from my brother in law, and he wanted to have video proof that I actually did the challenges. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's fair. Nice. I started posting because of my daughter. Yeah. She wanted to do it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I started my channel as a cooking channel with my daughter years ago, and just it kind of fizzled out. Mm -hmm. And then I got the competitive eating bug and started it up again. <laughs> so, and I remember. I remember when I had two subscribers and one was me and the other was our neighbor boy and that was it. <laughs> the neighbor boy. <laughs> the neighbor boy. The neighbor boy. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Neighbor we boy could... felt like he had an insight on the blonde lady next door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Doing weird stuff. <laughs> yep. Let me see something. You guys talk. I'm gonna look at something. Well, that's uh, that's. I'll, I'll never forget when. A few of my YouTube friends are they're getting monetized and they're going, Stai, you know, why don't you monetize? And I go, I don't think I can. And then I looked at the YouTube terms of service and monetization. I'm going, I could have monetized myself a year ago. Oh shit. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, I'm just sailing um, along. And I was perfectly happy, <clears throat> you know. And so, and that's, that's what I try to tell everybody is monetization, unless you're really trying to make a good second income somehow off of YouTube or something, um, monetization should be kind of down the list of the reasons you're here. Um, I'm, I'm here for the community and I, because I enjoy it. The day I quit enjoying being on YouTube, I think that's the day I need to consider shutting her down, you know, because... Why be here if you don't enjoy it? Uh oh, what's Phil got up there now? Well, this is one of this is one of my first again. This was videos before. Now you, you have to yep. forgive me because my camera was sideways. But this is under my name. This isn't under you know my channel. So my kids were in watching a scary movie, and me and the wife were out and about. So I set the camera or my phone up. So this is inside of the van, all the way in the very. So I'm hiding in the back of the minivan. And I can see the kids coming. It's time to die! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Gotta wish I had a goal four years ago. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if if we knew what we knew today, right? Like, what we oh, could have yeah. done oh, yeah. yesterday. <laughs> so. Exactly. I, I mean, and for me, it's real disappointing. I'm turning 64 in a few months, and and I think of I got 50 years like of some great content that <laughs> long gone. <laughs> it's oh. long gone. Oh man, the, the just the stories of you being tased and uh, pepper sprayed. Uh -huh. If you had that on film, it, that would be viral it, on its own. <laughs> that that was oh, Phil, that, that was you and Sty arguing about when y'all started following each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Two summers ago, what? when I put the, what? the, the fish in your car. What? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's not that. That's not that damn funny. That's up in my neck of the woods, by the way. <laughs> Jealous. Jealous. It's beautiful. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, you're talking about yeah, um, George. You're talking about that story. You know about being paid. Uh, over on my channel, I I have. Uh, stream series that I do that's called Sty Story Sundays. And okay. I'm I've got I've done over 170 stories of my path in my life. Um and I've got almost 170 left to do and it took me almost five years just to do the 170 I've done. So Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sty uh, is our storyteller, if you can't tell. Yeah. Sty 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 remembers things in great detail. And he tells I, you know, when he does his Sty story. He tells one sty story a Sunday, but when you get used, to, when you come around to the live stream, then you start to hear the same stories over and over. And sometimes not on my better. stream, you don't. Not on his stream, no. <laughs> no. He's like my. I may like repeat my, my, a my story or two. He's like my grandpa. I may repeat a story or two over on your panel, because there's folks over here that aren't on my channel. So Hardly. if they want to hear it. Hardly. <laughs> and that's so true. That's so true because Phil and I, when I look at the followers over here at Phil's, they're all familiar to me. They're, they're over at my channel. And we do that all the time. I always promote folks to be here. I mean, this is, I wouldn't be here if I didn't love that guy up in the corner. I, I mean, he's great. He's absolutely great. And anytime he's available, I, I tell folks certain people have key oh. <laughs> That's I'm sorry, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, don't be doing that, Phil. Don't don't be doing that. I can't believe I can't believe um you haven't got Samantha where Bob not the Bob is. You know, I mean what the hell is the matter with you? I, you know how I handle my channel. <laughs> I know how you do it. I surround myself with all these pretty myself? women. Oh, okay. I so I surround myself with ladies. There we go. Now is that you? Are you feel happy now? Oh, you're surrounded with <laughs> ladies, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Oh, yeah. Where's that clip, Joe? Joe. 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 Well, Joe will shake him. I mean, <laughs> hey, don't get him showing stuff off now, <laughs> Jimmy. You're just gonna lead us Joe! right trail. Oh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may be the troublemaker. I think. That sounds good, Harry. Get a McRib and put 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 a bunch of uh, sauce. Oh, that would be good. I wonder if I could do. I wonder if I the Apollo McRib. Mm. So I, I get the, I, I, I get the views for the McRib sandwich, and I get the and views the for the Apollo hot sauce. I wonder if I could yeah. take that whole bottle of hot sauce. I, I could put it inside, I could put it on top and on the bottom, and then I could pour the rest on the top of the McRib, and I could sit there with a knife and fork and cut up the McRib. Have you have you had it yet, Katie? I is she frozen or missed it? The Apollo hot sauce? Katie? Have, have you have you had it yet, Katie? The Apollo? I, I haven't tried it. Sorry, my internet's cutting in and out. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'd like to. Um, I think Luther the Great, uh, Neil, if you guys know him, he's actually going to do a spicy oh. McRib. He was inspired by today's video. 
but I don't think he's uh, using Apollo. Yeah, he he was in here earlier. Um, uh, me and uh, me and half, and uh, actually a Texas Hotspot used uh, half a bottle on Twelve Wings. Ooh, and, and and ate them on on a live stream on my channel. <laughs> And you can probably definitely tell the difference. How is in it? Story. I haven't watched your video yet. <laughs> it's um, it's good. It's it's better on food than it is on its own. <laughs> okay. It's, 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 just don't just like eat a spoonful. Uh, well, I I took a shot straight out of the bottle. Um, which okay, and then half followed suit. I don't he he sucker oh. punched himself. Um, but uh, it's. You can definitely tell that it is because all it is is a pepper mash. It's the Apollo oh. pepper mash with dried with Apollo dried Apollo Apollo uh, extract and a little bit of vinegar. Distill it. Yeah, distill it. Yeah. There's like four. Let's give it a focus. Yeah, it's awful small print. Yeah, yeah it is. A, it's a. It's small. It was hard That's to read when we were doing the review on it. Yeah. I couldn't even see it. I'd but have it, Devin read it. You can, mm -hmm. you can definitely tell that it is. Uh, it is. Or was it going to focus? A, it, was gonna, uh, it was going to focus too. Reaper hybrid. It's not going to do it. Put your yeah, hand no. behind it. Mm -hmm. No. It's yeah. It does say Apollo. The Apollo pepper, distilled vinegar. Right. The Apollo pepper mash. The Apollo pepper distillate. So it doesn't say anything else. Those are your those are your ingredients. Usually, there's <laughs> other ingredients that aren't Apollo. Yeah, the, the triple X dab is great. I love that one. Oh, yeah, you should get you a tarantula too, Phil. Speaking of, you know, Ann said that you know if I come up with a challenge, it'd be something with bugs. So you thanks, Samantha. <laughs> get you a get you a tarantula and crack open that plutonium. Oh, yeah. I still want to try one of those canned tarantulas. Yeah, they're I really good. Want to because I'm terrified of spiders. Oh. Terrified. Like, even the smallest spider, and I think it would be hilarious. Oh, yeah. that reminds me. It, 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 they're not that bad. Man. They're really not that bad. You can get the scorpions to warm up with, because the scorpions actually taste good. Oh, I've eaten a scorpion, and I've oh, eaten okay. crickets, and I've I eaten can. a water bug. I don't mind eating bugs. I'm just so instinctually whatever is wrong with my subconscious like scared of spiders that i think it would be really funny there you go what you get grasshoppers. oh yeah grasshoppers are great yeah oh that, tar that tarantula was almost as big as my hand when i got it all unfolded <laughs> take take the and, pebble from my hand grasshopper and, grasshopper. Uh, <laughs> and they don't they don't shave them they're still got all the hair and stuff on them so but he wasn't in one blood. piece anymore he was in peace no oh, he was man. broke up that Ugh. that's how that's that damn, the that damn Amazon. they don't treat stuff right yeah i did the one chip and i was all shaking and wussing out <laughs> on the one chip so i ate the tarantula <laughs> 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 well, listen, guys, I hate to do this, but I've got to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's my long day, and we've been on here for two and a half hours. So yep. I do want to thank our special guests, Katie and George. I thank you guys for coming up and uh, joining us tonight. I hope that we get to do this many more times. Indeed. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Make sure, and again, if you guys haven't, if you're sitting here in the chat and you haven't subscribed to these two channels, check them out for sure. So uh, the rest of my channel members, Travis, Joe, Sty, Jimmy, uh, and, and everybody in the chat, man. I appreciate y'all spending your uh, Wednesday evening with me or Wednesday night with me. You know I love you guys. Keep it spicy. Keep it spicy. Keep it spicy. Guys. Uh, Keep it, spicy. it was great meeting you, George. Hey. <laughs>